is up everybody welcome back to the city life project youtube channel for yet another live fight companion that's right we're going full asmr up in this motherfucker because it's 3 a.m where i'm at right now so everyone in my household is still asleep but uh, we got some japanese muay thai going on right now that is right rws is in japan that's right we missed all the prelims because for some reason DeZone didn't want to show them. But we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. We're staying up. We're hanging out together watching these prelims. Let's go. <laughs> Smash that like button again. This stream, it's the end of the stream weekend. It's nothing special here. I'm going to be whispering away like a crazy person, but we will be commenting on the fights as we do. It's just... Hey, Everyone in my house is asleep, and I don't want to be that dick just hooting and hollering. <laughs> but I could not miss this, ladies and gentlemen. I was up hoping to catch the prelims, but unfortunately, the prelims weren't uh, broadcasted to us here in North America. But we have the final prelim fight here before the main card. So we didn't get to watch all of them, but we got to watch at least the last two here. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll get to the live chat here in a sec, guys. <laughs> what's up, everybody? What's up? What's up, Thrill House? Uh, is that an office room you work out of? Same level as folks sleeping. Yeah, I'm right under. My office is right under uh, my roommates. <laughs> a techno band back in the day called KLF. I had a song called 3 a.m. I, I, what's up, Irish? Yeah, JD's been in the live chat for a little while. What's up, Alpha? Good to see you. Funk Master, DAZN. But yeah, both fighters just, uh, just perform their walk through and they're ready to go. Let's get it on. All right, round one. I love the music, man. RWS does put on an awesome show. Uh, again, three three-minute rounds, traditional tie rules. A Pidet versus Onuma. A lot of tie versus Japanese on this card, ladies and gentlemen. Up and down the card. Again, was hoping to watch more of the prelims, but hey, I'll, I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. A Pita doing a good job of spamming the low low kicks and body kicks early. Have you ever watched an MMA promotion? Eternal. Yep. I got front row tickets. 160 bucks. Canadian not too shabby. Dude. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Yeah, that's Australia's uh, top MMA promotion. A lot of the top guys. Oh, nice knee attempt there by Apita. All the top guys from Australia, they, they come from Eternal MMA. Like Ursay came from Eternal MMA. Jack Della Maddalena came from Eternal MMA. All the top Aussie guys. Dude, tell me how that is. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait for you to go and report back. That's, that's so sick. Only gone to a handful of local shows here. But uh, I want to go check out BFL eventually um, in BC. Man, despite get, getting spammed with low kicks, Onuma's still pressing forward. Doing some nice body kicks of his own, but checking all the low kicks is the Apidet. Oh, a nice sweep. Onuma. I bet I did just fall to the mat there. Good job checking the leg kicks by a Pete head, but oh, it's going to count as a knockdown here? Bro, it's going to count as a knockdown. I, I don't think he landed any shots to the face there. I think he just kept picking apart his legs, but getting the first count is a Pete head. And it, oh, and more kicks to the leg. 
man, that's the second knockdown. Second knockdown for the tie. Tripping there after jumping and going for a knee. Was the tie clinching on Numa? Clinching and throwing his opponent to the ground. All right, and that'll be it for the first round. Man, Onuma just picked his legs apart. We're looking at some of the replays here. Shit. Just even, even the shin, man. He was going shin to shin at some points. Ouch. Again, uh, Onuma, the Japanese fighter, he is in the white trunks. I think it's Apita Chort Bansang. So again, a lot of Thai and Japanese matchups on this card. Not surprised, not surprised, given that RWS is holding this event in Japan. They did just, what, what I'm trying to say is they did a good job of mixing it up 50-50. Didn't have uh, didn't have you know too many Japanese fighters fighting Japanese fighters or Thai fighters fighting Thai fighters. They were able to pretty much split it, pretty much split it up and down. Yeah, it's Japanese versus Thai every single fight on the main card. On the prelims, it was a little different. There's quite a bit of Jap like local Japanese fighters fighting each other, but pretty much starting with this featured prelim all the way to the end, it's. Japanese versus Thailand. All right, round two. Let's get it. Again, JD hanging out, Thrill House. Shane popped by. What's up, guys? Appreciate you. Sorry I'm whispering like a crazy person, but everyone in my house is asleep. I almost didn't do this stream. I was pissed that we couldn't watch all the prelims, but whatever. We're watching it now, so appreciate you guys who are hanging out. Comment away. I'll read your comment. Vote in the poll question. Let's go. Two minutes on the clock. Body kick by Onuma. Another body kick by Onuma. Damn, dude. Apidat. Look for that right hand. Throw body kicks of its own on the entry. Nice right hand by Apidat. Inside the leg kick by Onuma. Outside the leg kick by Onuma. That lead left leg of Apita. Apita with the right hand. Just stalking him down right now. Oh, an inside leg kick by Onuma. This fight is over. This fight is over. And it is all over for the tie, ladies and gentlemen. Another knockdown with a leg kick, and the ref calls it. It is over. And that is it for the featured prelim, ladies and gentlemen. Ryuto Onuma with the TKO spamming leg kicks on the tie. Damn. Right away in the second round. Right away in the second round. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There are quite a bit of prelims. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, nine prelims, man. I was ready to go locked and loaded like three hours ago. I know Rush Hour is also streaming this at like a normal volume level, so shout out to him. I was like texting him and I was like, dude, when the hell is this going to start? When can we watch this? And he's like, the prelims were just unavailable on the internet for us. And I was like, all right, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. For those of you who are watching, appreciate you guys. Smash that like button. It's early. It's late. Whatever you want to call it. Some of us haven't gone to bed after hanging out with the boys watching the Super Bowl. Some of us are tired. Coffee keeping us awake. 
But we're going to watch R- RWS Japan anyways, ladies and gentlemen. I'm dying, Mateo. I'm dying. I thought we were going to be able to watch the prelims early. And then, you know, the momentum would just take us into the night. But, man, the zone uh, broadcast just started for this last fight. But we got to see TKO. But anyways, what's up, Mateo? Good to see you. All right, bow into his Japanese home crowd. Isruto Onuma. Dude, barely a scratch on him, man. Barely a scratch. Man, it is a pretty cool venue, though. And I've been looking forward to this fight card for a while. Korku and Hall. Yeah, dude, this is a sweet arena. They do um, a lot of, like, Japanese pro pro wrestling. Uh, and a lot of kickboxing as well. But yeah, I think Sicko Hours is the best way to describe uh, this crazy live stream we're doing. I mean, shoot, if we're going to watch in a way fights, they have to be at this time, right? Oh, you got to love the cold opens, though. Got to love the cold opens. Although this one just looks like it's a freaking cell phone commercial. I take that back. Even if the Sandman takes me, I'll be watching for your viewer count. Oh, appreciate you, JD. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Appreciate you. Someday I'll just like have my own uh, have my own place where I can hoot and holler. But for the time being, saving money. <laughs> it just sucks that my uh, my office is right under right under. Uh, my roommates. I mean, I could just be that crazy uh, kickboxing and MMA fan who give who doesn't give a fuck and just hoots and holler. But like I said, I have uh, I have a, I have a good thing going right now. Morpheus, take me. I'm yours. <laughs> All right, main card starting next, ladies and gentlemen, and we do have a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fight main card. <laughs> seven fight main card. Bro, is there anybody awake in our Discord right now? Let's wake them up if so. <laughs> I didn't check the Discord at all during Super Bowl, which honestly, boring ass game for the first three quarters. Fourth quarter, overtime. Let's go, um, dude. There were there were points during that seven minute freaking rush for San Francisco where you could get KC at like plus one forty money line, easy money, easy money. Man, it's too early slash too late to be drinking coffee right now. I I love my coffee, don't get me wrong, but like it just <sighs> coming back home from the bar and then waiting, thinking this was gonna start at 1 30 a.m. my time. Doesn't. Wait two more hours. Here we are now drinking coffee. It's gonna be a crazy Monday. It already is a crazy Monday. The group is actually called KLF, and the song is 3 a.m. Eternal. You'll love it, man, I promise. All right. Well, we're waiting for the main card to start. Let me just look it up right now. The KLF. All right, let's see what, let's see what you're talking about. Oh, this looks good. I'm firing it up right now. Oh my God. I've totally heard this song before. Oh. 
I dig it. I dig it. All right, now that that would wake me up. That I mean, that song did wake me up. Oops, it gives me Night at the Roxbury vibes. <laughs> gives me Night at the Roxbury vibes for sure. Oh, I gotta save this one. There we go. Bro, I swear we waited two hours after the prelims were supposed to start for now just a screen that says main card. Nah, RWS, get your shit together. Nice, JD. Yeah, I wasn't a big club person, but like if they played bangers like that, in the club, like during my club years, like ten years ago, I, I would have been down. I would have. I don't mind dancing. I just, I just hated the music, and most of the people there. I was the guy, no joke, who was like taking dates to jazz clubs in college, and they thought it was dope because no one else was. <laughs> that or just go to some freaking metal show and go mosh go moshing and beaten up usually for like three hours oh yeah it's one of my favorite movies one of my favorite movies <laughs> Emilio it's the mighty duck man I swear to god Emilio I need Emilio Estevan's mighty duck uh, bobblehead or just some actually I do have a Mighty Ducks hat. I was gonna say or just some sort of Mighty Ducks memorabilia, but I do. I have a Mighty Ducks hat, so there you go. Again, guys, sorry I'm like talking like a crazy person here, whispering, I should say. My whole house is sleeping right now. Everybody in my house, even my roommate's cat, is sleeping right now because it's 3 09 a.m. So my apologies for just talking like a crazy person. If this one ain't your vibe, the ASMR stream, I get it. We'll be back next weekend for more actual play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, interaction with you guys. Right now, there's not even anything to react to ASMR style. There's literally a screen that's showing the main card. I get it. They're taking their break. But, bro, I've been waiting. I've been waiting, refreshing my DAZN app since 1.30 a.m. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Emotional damage. If Will Ferrell's in a movie, I will watch it. Yeah, e even today. Even today. Uh, over some of his recent good ones. I mean, shoot, I know it's like over 10 years old now, but Other Guys was was awesome. I know this one was like 20 years old now, but Day and Nights was another good one. He was good in old school, but that's what, like when he like started kicking down the door and was like, all right, the Will, the Will Ferrell era has arrived. Semi-pro. I think, I think my favorite Will Ferrell movie is honestly semi-pro. Obviously, people are going to say Step Brothers. All right. Next fight on the card, by the way, Saya Ito against Nong Min. Let me tee that up. Again, big shout out to everybody who's joining us here. We're just waiting for the main card to start. Name the movie. Come on, everybody. We're going streaking, but you just said it. Yeah, old school, baby. It's a good one. It's a good one. Nong Min Tor Song Kyat against Saya Ito. Guess which one's the Thai? Guess which one's the Japanese fighter? <laughs> All right. Like I said, we're just waiting for the main card to start. A little bit of an intermission here. As RWS just wrapped up their prelims, we, lucky for us, were able to see half of the Sato Wan Chai fight and the whole Epidet and Onuma fight, but Onuma destroyed Epidet's legs. 
And within a minute and 20 seconds, it was over. Just like that. Get some sleep. Bro, we're just starting. We're just starting. What's up, Sean? I can say the same to you. What are you doing up? What the heck are you doing up, Sean? It's good to see you. Yo, did anybody else get freaking Kansas City plus 140 money line live betting in overtime, dude? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Five minutes into San Fran's step, uh, like step forward. In overtime, their assault, seven-minute assault. Like five minutes into that, I kept checking the live odds, and I was like, oh, plus 140, let's go. What does KC do? They come back with six seconds left, which is crazy, but I'm, I'm not a big f- like football guy. I was, at, uh, I was at my roommate's bar, though, the bar he works at, and everyone was going crazy around me, so I was like, I, you know, this, this was good. Brock Turdy, blow it. <laughs> Whoops, I, I meant to do this. I'm not impressed by your performance. Most anticlimactic walk off touchdown ever. That is true. It was it wasn't like Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Yes. Agreed. I will say, like the first, like the, the first half of the game was boring as fuck, and then it was like, oh my god, Usher, you're like forty, calm down, dude, and then, and, and then we had a football game. Kirk Cousins goes to San Francisco and crushes it. I think. Yeah, their defense was unreal in the first uh, in the first half. I'll say that. I know both teams are. Like playing pretty passive, but San Fran's uh, defense was awesome. Again, I'm not a football guy. I watch this C- my my home province CFL team to support them because you can actually watch those games on ESPN Plus. Let's go! But uh, and I watch Vikings games because I live in Minnesota. <laughs> uh, again, guys, we're just waiting for the main card to start here, and. Uh, my apologies for whispering, but everyone in my house is asleep, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I could be hooting and hollering right now, talking about and reacting to some great kickboxing. Muay Thai, I should say. It's in Japan, so my brain just says kickboxing, but RWS in Japan. RWS did have a show in Thailand earlier this weekend. There's some great knockouts. There were some great highlights from that show. And uh, we were only able to watch the final prelim on zone and about half of the Sato Wan Chai fight. So we're still waiting for the main card to start. And uh, yeah, hang with us here. Hanging out with you guys in the live chat. Vikings might be trash next year. Well, they weren't that great this year, so fun stuff, fun stuff. It's going to be a fun few years as a Wild fan and a Vikings fan. Uh, I feel like you can turn around an NFL team quicker than a NHL team. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. And it's not like the Vikings don't have a, like good pieces. But again, I'm not a football, I'm not a football guy. I'm not going to pretend to be. Okay, guys, like I said, we are set to have a was it, seven fight main card here. What up to everybody just joining us, by the way? Uh, we have a poll question. We do have a poll question on the channel, so smash that like button and don't forget to vote in the poll question. Oh, guys, we almost have 20 likes already. Poll question, what is your favorite stadium Muay Thai show? RWS, Lupini, 
Channel 7, Yoko. Dude, 52% are saying we're peeing right now. So shout out to you guys. Um, look at this. We got Joe Hogan, exclusive members, Sean Cosgrove, JD, Mateo. Real House isn't an exclusive member, but he he donated a couple of streams ago. So big shout out to him. The Irish Snack Box. Um, long time subscriber, Funk Master. Alpha said a new subscriber, Shane. Long time subscriber and also exclusive member. I mean, look at the chat. Look at the chat. You're off and cruising to off, bro. We're going to be the 90s Red Wings. It's going to be sick. Exactly that. Dude, I cannot wait for those two guys to come over. I cannot wait, dude. They're, oh, they're going to be so good. They're going to be so good. And, like, I hope they come over sooner than later. Like, goodbye, Freddie Goudreau. Goodbye, Marcus Johansson. Goodbye, Marcus Foligno. Like, whatever guy you can get out the door, you make room for those two guys, man. They're going to be amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm so pumped on Yurov just, just as just as much as the rest because of his output this season. But like who's Nadinov is gonna look so good in the National Hockey League. And coming out of Prince George, oh Canada baby, Riley Height, like my goodness. Oh my god. It's crazy. And and not to mention, not to mention what Judd Brackett is gonna do with in this year's draft. What exactly is your sub count? You got to be within 15 to 8K. You know what? I didn't even check. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Main card starting. Main card starting. All right, we got the cold open here. Actually, I watched this cold open. Uh, it, it was on uh, Twitter. Um, where the heck are we? I, we're about 20 away. We're about 20 away. All right, guys. Like I said, the cold open is uh, on right now. And the first fight will be coming up shortly. It will be against Nongmin Songkyat against Sayo Ito. Again, Thailand and Japan are going to be matched up against each other every single fight moving forward. Ito, 25 years of age, on a three-fight win streak in Muay Thai right now. Put together some good win streaks, actually, throughout her career. Has been fighting pro since 2018. Yeah, they don't even have any stats on this chick. But hopefully we see them. Anyways, in the tail of the tape as these women make their walk out here, RWS will hopefully show her record. I mean, it's a long shot, but any of you in the live chat here, any of you betting on this, Any of you betting on this right now? And I gotta stop by and give Jay some love here. <laughs> Yo, dude, Rush Hour stream is blowing up right now. Shout out to shout out to uh, Rush Hour Fight Club. He's blowing up right now. There's people calling in from Japan, dude. People wanting to call in from Japan. That's crazy. Yeah, okay, so so this uh, cold open video that's on right now, they were showing it. It made the rounds on Twitter. It made the rounds on Twitter. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. 
Anyways, welcome everybody. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and subscribe. We don't we don't whisper like a crazy person on every single stream that we do. It's just super late right now where I'm at and I have roommates, they're sleeping, so it is what it is. I didn't want to skip this. I wanted to watch the rest of the fight, so join us in the live chat. We'll totally interact with you guys, but it is what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the joys of watching Japanese combat sports. But I'm not going to complain. Ryzen, Japanese boxing, and any Muay Thai event in Japan, you know we're covering it here. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, guys, let me know who you're picking in this next fight. Let me know who you're picking in this next fight. They have stacked some good Japanese fighters on this card, so I'm gonna go Ito. I'm gonna go Ito. I'm gonna look. Up, I'm gonna look up betting odds for this. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if fight odds. Let's see if fight odds. Dot io. RWS Japan. Let's see if they they have any betting odds for this. Yeah, I didn't think they would. I thought they might. I thought they might, but nope. They have pretty much everything. <laughs> it is it is a pretty long cold open, but it's a good one. Intro, I guess I should call it. Again, guys, keep the comments coming. Keep the comments coming. First fight on the main card is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Ito against Nongmin. And their ang ring announcers just look like he was ready for some sort of intro there, but then the lights go down. We're just uh, we're, we're just waiting for some some sort of announcement here. As the lights go dim in the arena, <laughs> even even this one uh, live TV announcer was laughing. All right, here we go. Welcome to RSW. Oh, here, jeez. All right, so the host is introducing us here on the zone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Again, big shout out to JD, big shout out to Joe Hogan, big shout out to Sean, who are hanging out with us here tonight. Yeah, in Tokyo, Japan, here at uh, Korkuen Hall, um, a venue that hosts oh, kickboxing some low-level MMA, as well as Japanese pro wrestling. Yeah, Thailand versus Japan, up and down the card, ladies and gentlemen, up and down the card. I can't wait to see Mike Joe fight my, my man, Mike Joe. No, no joke, guys. Mike Joe's on the card. <laughs> All right. First fight is upon us on this main card. Finally. Finally. It would be cool if they did have like custom. Uh... Oh, okay, they do. They do here. I was going to say it's in Japan. So they got to have some good like custom intros for all these fights. Yes. JD's watching from bed. Probably won't be able. Uh, probably won't be much more comments. But I'm here. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you, dude. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Lord knows one of us should get some sleep. Okay. No, this is just an intro for the whole card. 
Mike Joe, let's go. Mike Joe. Again, uh, bout order is always subject to change, but um, I have a a picture that RWS tweeted anyways, and it says that uh, Nongmin against Saya Ito, only women's fight on the main card, and that one will be the first fight on the main card, but we're just looking at a full intro right now um, on the DAZN broadcast. And again, sorry that I'm whispering, guys. Everyone in my house is asleep. It's 3.30 a.m. where I'm at. We will be commenting on the fight here, but we're mostly going to be taking your guys' comments and just hanging out, hanging out bright and early. So big shout-out to all of you. Smash that like button. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Okay, the intro's wrapping up. We should get to our first fight here soon. RWS Japan. All right, we have the voice of RWS, Biat. And then we have Uzi. Who's going to be translating in Japanese? All right, let's go, dude. I'm excited for this. Let's go. I've been looking forward to this for a week. So, even though I wasn't able to watch all of the prelims and I was a little discouraged, I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're staying up. I don't care if we get one viewer or 20 viewers or freaking. Uh, Freaking rush hour has been crushing it right now. He's got like 60 viewers. I don't care how many we have here. We're staying up and watching this, guys. All right. First fighters are being announced now in the or in the arena, and they'll be making their walk to the ring here shortly. Looks like a pretty good crowd. They said they were sold out a couple days ago. All right, here we go, here we go. Nong Min making her walk out now. I'm not sure how many pro fights she has. Ito has quite a few. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, are they bringing in every single fighter right now? Oh my god, they're bringing in every single fighter. Dude, so they, they brought in Nongmin and Ito. And I was like, okay, the fight's about to start. Then they started bringing in like the rest of the dudes. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? The dude's coming in he's fighting too? Oh my god. They're doing a whole other intro. And this is going to take forever. We're in for a long morning. Yo, what's up? Good morning. Don't be horrible. Good to see you, buddy. It's going to be a long one, guys. How's it going? Don't be horrible. Good to see you. All right, so every fighter is entering the ring right now in this extended opening ceremony. It is 3.30 a.m. It is, it is very early. I almost didn't do this. I almost didn't do the stream. But I've been excited for well, I've been, I've been so excited for like two weeks to watch this. Unfortunately, the prelims weren't broadcasted, so it was pretty. Uh, I was pretty disheartened earlier today, but it is what it is. 
Okay, the fighters are still being announced in the arena, being brought into the, the ring for a little opening ceremony here. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to sleep at all. But I'm excited you're streaming. Well, there you go. Listen to the, 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 the smooth whispers of my voice during some freaking Muay Thai in Japan. Let's go. Yeah, I've been sleeping better lately. But, I mean, after tonight, my whole sleep schedule is going to be thrown out of whack. Oh. Uh. All right. There is one um, one title fight on this card in the main event of the evening. You know, it's a pretty cool fight venue. It's a pretty cool fight venue. Wait, maybe there's two championships up for grabs. Anyways. It is in Japan, so I should have known there'd be an extended opening ceremony. I should have known. Are you ready? Oh, we're ready, boss. We're ready. I'm just making sure I got it, like, because I have a meeting. Um, <laughs> I have a meeting tomorrow at noon. I'm setting an alarm to make sure that I'm up well before I need to be. Because this is going to end in like, I don't know, what, three hours probably? I'm getting a little bit of sleep. I mean, if the fights ever start, right? If the fights ever start. Uh, not gonna lie, Isha. I'm just here to listen and hang out. The fights are more an afterthought. No, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Isha seems like you always have meetings. Yet yeah, that's how I pay the bills, brother. That's how I pay the bills. Doing freelance work, dude. You gotta take as many meetings as you can. Okay, so now they're introducing the band that's playing the Thai music. Bro. We want to see some fights, bro. Meeting seven hard, nah. Bro, can't hear you. We cannot hear you, boys. We cannot hear you. I mean... All, all work is a little stressful, right? <laughs> Hernan, what's up, brother? Good morning. I was going to say Vietnam, but Japan. We want to hear the Thai band. We can't even hear the Thai band, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what is going on? What is going on? We can't even hear the Thai band. Okay, okay, we can hear it a little bit now. We can hear it a little bit now. Half of the DAZN broadcast couldn't even hear the band. Okay, okay. Let's get some fights going, bro. Let's get some fights going. Oh my god, now we're back to freaking Antoine or whatever his name is. <laughs> With the embarrassingly long delay. Wow, 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 brother. Wow, wow, wow. 
Well, let's see. Let's see some of the best Muay Thai fighters, brother. Let's see. All right, here we go. So finally, these two fighters are uh, are being introduced. <laughs> I, I do like how like wholesome th this broadcast is. Like it ain't anything special, but but it's consistent. It's consistent. <laughs> And honestly, th this guy has way more character and color to him than any of the Rise and Broadcast guys for Fight TV. So there you go. You should, you should date a fighter. Yo, baby shark, she's taken. Tracy Cortez, though, she's single. Like I said, folks, up and down the main card from the first fight here all the way to the last one. It's Japan versus Thailand. All right, we've done the intro for them all, dude. Come on, let's get to some fights. Let's get to some fights. Yes, that the world has been waiting for. We waiting. We be waiting. We be waiting, brother. We be waiting. We be whispering. We be waiting. <laughs> Guys, smash that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream, a real live stream. Not one, not one where I'm whispering like a fucking crazy person. Yes. Exactly that. Exactly freaking that. Finally. Finally. I say finally. Finally the women are walking out. I love how the camera's just a little like it's it's either early on Antoine or it's super late. But anyways, here we go. Thailand making her walk out right now. Nong Min making her walk out to the ring. Why are you whispering? Is someone else in your office? Yeah, my roommates sleep right above me. Yeah, I got it wrong last night. I got it wrong, and the live chat corrected me before we ended it, brother. It's it's right now. It's right now. And I I spent the whole day drinking watching football. And we're still up. Now watching Muay Thai. Shit's crazy. Shit is absolutely insane. What is up, Mr. Grant Gregory? But yes, I was wrong. I thought it was last night. It's actually tonight. It's, I mean, it's actually this morning. But yes, we good now, brother. We good now. I am in the States. The game was incredible. I mean, the first half was super boring, but the second half was really good. And over time in the Super Bowl, I'll take it. Oh, I got you, Mr. Grant. I got you, Mr. Grant Gregory. Let's go. All right. The Japanese fighter making her walk out now. Saya Ito. Bowing to the crowd on her way to the ring. Hey, appreciate you, man. Let's go. Nah, dude, try to try to get some sleep. I I almost 
didn't do this stream. I almost was like, fuck it, I'm going to bed, but I'm too much of a freaking fight junkie. I had to stay up and watch it. I get it, bro. I get it. Don't apologize. Try to get a few hours, and we'll see you on the next one, my man. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, guys, we're starting off this main event of the evening with the women here. Again, nothing is going to top that one woman's bout. We saw the LFA prelims earlier this weekend. That shit was insane. That shit was insane, dude. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I don't believe it. There was a guy commenting on that video on this channel. He is pissed. He was unhappy the way that we all called and were commenting on that fight. But he was pissed off that we said it was the best fight of the weekend. Emotional, damn it. Crazy. Get some sleep, buddy. Get some sleep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first fight on this main card. 17 years old is Nongmin. Ito is 25 years old. All right, both of them performing their Wakru. Dude, I knew, like, she looked, she looked a lot younger than the Japanese fighter. 17 years old up against the 25-year-old. RWS, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Both these women perform the WACRU right now. One hour after... The DAZN broadcast started. The main card starts here. Now, we did get one last prelim fight, so I won't complain. I won't complain. But it ended with, you know, a round and a half of fighting. It was barely anything. All right, guys, keep the comments coming. Whoever's watching, keep me awake here, guys. <laughs> All right, both of them still performing the WAC crew. All right, these ladies better throw hands, man. That's all I'm saying. These ladies better throw hands. Like I said, Ito, very decorated record right now on a three-fight win streak. Split decision in her last fight. Knockout due to a body shot in her fight before that. Unanimous decision in her fight before that, but on a three-fight win streak. No info on this girl, but she's 17, making her RWS debut, I'm pretty sure. In Japan, let's go. But again, after this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more fights. The seven fight main card. All the introductions are done. We're starting with the women. I could have gone. I could have gone and grabbed another coffee. I will after this fight. I will after this fight.
is this the f- I think this is the first time RWS has actually stepped out of Thailand to do a show and where else where else where else but Japan right let's go let's go that shit beautiful than a motherfucker all right guys we're just waiting for this first fight to start both the women here are performing the whack crew I mean I could be commenting play by play on the whack crew here it's it ain't it ain't half bad it ain't half bad. Especially Itos. Itos is badass. Okay. Time to throw some hands. Time to throw some hands. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, is about to begin here. Let's freaking go. Corners removing the dress, giving final instructions. And the announcer is announcing them again the third and final time. He's a pretty good announcer. I'll give him that. I'll say this. I'll say one thing. He's better than Mitch Chilson for one championship. I'll, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He's got more energy. That is Mortar. <laughs> he brings the energy. I'll give him that. He brings the energy. All right. All right, fighters are being introduced in the ring right now. Nong Min, 35 wins, 10 losses. 35 wins, 10 losses. Ito is being introduced. 35 wins, 10 losses. And two draws. All right. I'll put the records here on the screen as well. There you go on the bottom of the screen. You can see the record and what round we're in. All right, here we go. We've made it, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it. Round one. Finally, we're going to see some fights. Finally, we're going to see some girls throw hands. Round one. Let's get it all. Let's go. Left jab, right hook by Ito. Ooh, and a nice right hand by Nong Min. Nong Min a little bit taller. Saya Ito, 25 years of age. Big right hand by Nong Min. Oh, a nice left by Ito. They ain't clinching, they ain't clinching. Ito with a nice front kick. Ito looking for a counter right. Ooh, outside low kick by Ito. Pushing forward is Nong Min. Nong Min with the body kick. Oh, a nice push kick by Ito. Ito catching the leg kick of Nong Min. What oh, a nice right hand by Ito. Nice right hand by Nong Min. Nong Min takes a right hand. Great counter by Ito. Ito the push kick, outside low kick. 35 seconds on the clock. Oh, 
and Nong Min on the back foot. Ito the one, two. Ito, great job catching the legs by Ito. Great job catching the legs. Big, big shot by Ito. Swing and a miss with that right is Nong Min. Final seconds of the first round. Oh, man. Ito with a four-punch combo. Two to the body, two to the head. Dude, beautiful first round by Ito. I think Ito won that first round. Volume-wise, Power was able to catch those leg kicks and land some big ones of her own. Yeah, I got to go with Saya Ito on this one. Oh, some big elbows too by Ito. Oh, dude, good scrap, good scrap. All right, round two coming up. Ooh, yeah, every judge gave that first round to Ito. Every judge gave that first round to Ito. As they should, as they should. All right, round two. Bro, even these DAZN uh, announcers, they don't even know the names of these women. We are at least showing these women some love here. It's Saya Ito and Nong Min. Get it right, DAZN. Get it right. I'm whispering like a crazy person here, trying to make sure my roommates don't wake up. And I'm still pronouncing the women's names right, or at least I'm trying to. I'm not just saying the Japanese fighter. Bruh. Big shout out to all you who are joining. For those who are in North America, staying up for this. You guys are the real MVPs. You guys are the real fight junkies. All right, round two. Let's get it. Oh, nice high kick by Nong Min. Right hand and a body kick by Nong Min. Nong Min, way more aggressive out of the gate. Oh, some beautiful step back counters by Ita. They clinch. Oh, a nice right hand by Nong Min. Great job taking away the distances, Ito. Engaging in the clinch. Ref separates. Nice left hand by Ito. A right hand by Ito. Beautiful right hand by Ito. Beautiful right hand by Ito. Nong Min is hurt. Nong Min's hurt. Body kick by Ito. Another body kick by Ito. Bro, this is a woman beating up a teenager right now. Straight up. I know each of them have 35 wins on their resume already. Oh, a nice left hook by Nong Min. Spinning elbow attempt by Ito. Great guard by Nong Min. Inch, 45 seconds on the clock. Ito pushing forward. Ito with a low kick. Ito taking away the space here. Oh, big shot to the body by Ito. Big shot to the body by Ito. Right hand to the body. Nong Min is down. Nong Min is down. Nong Min gets the count. Nong Min back up their feet, but Ito with the clinch. Ito with some body kicks. Ito with the right hand. Nong Min taking shots. Nong Min took a right. Nong Min takes a body shot. Ito with a knee. This fight is over. This fight is over. We have a winner. Nong Min is out. Wow. Saya Ito 
at the end of the second round gets it done, gets it done. TKO no less. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking. Or just looking at the replay. Oh, some big knees in the clinch. Beautiful, beautiful first win on this card. On this main card, anyways. Again, Japan versus Thailand. Up and down the card. So far, Japan looking good. Good win, man. She was an absolute savage in there. Absolute savage. All right. So next we have Nagasawa Kiyomitsu up against Isanua. Kiyomitsu. Let me bring it up on... One zero for Team Japan. All right, Nakasawa Kiyomitsu up against Isanua Chotbang San. Let's see what topology has on either of these two guys. Mr. Bean, cute Japanese fighter. What's up, Mr. Bean? Good to see you. Appreciate you joining. Nagasawa. On a hell of a run right now. A fight win streak. Damn. And the last three here, even the draw, have been good fights. Um, and three out of his last four have been by finish. Let's go. This opponent coming off a loss here, but before then was coming in on a streak. And he had a knockout as well. And I know, like... Topology does not reflect their full record at all, but it does a good job of at least showing the last few fights. We will see a proper tail of the tape on screen here, but the TIE fighter is in the ring right now. Let's get ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. Again, keep the comments coming, guys. I'm whispering like a crazy person just because it's freaking 4 a.m. where I'm at right now. And I live with roommates. They're sleeping. I don't want to wake up the entire house yet this Monday morning. So on real streams, on normal streams, we, we talk like normal people. and We do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. We're still going to react to these fights, but uh, mostly going to read your guys' comments and just hang out here early this morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Nakasawa, by the way, is making his way to the ring as we speak, as we listen. In after hours, I love it. What's up, Surf's up? <laughs> Up to the realness. <sighs> I will have to get some more coffee in a little bit here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, both of the fights.
fighters are in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. We have Nakasawa against Isanua. Both the fighters will perform their walk crew here shortly. Isanua, 21 years of age. Nakasawa, 34. Damn, son. Oh, my God. Again, surf's up. Great to see you, buddy. Great to see you. Our fighters performing their walk crew. Nakasawa, very slow, very slow. But again, we got a young fighter up against an older fighter. What did it say? 21, 22 years of age against a 35 year old? All right, walk crew's going on right now, then the fight will begin. Again, don't forget to vote in the poll question, guys. Don't forget to vote in the poll question. Fight number two on a seven-fight main card. Bro, we got Mike Joe coming up next. We got Mike freaking Joe coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. He's fought on RWS before, if I'm not mistaken, but Muay Thai fans. Muay Thai fans know Mike Joe. It's not a bad card, man. It's not a bad card. The, the whole Japanese versus Thailand thing, Team Japan versus Team Thailand, it, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And so far, Jap Japan up one, but Thailand didn't necessarily have the best representative, a 17-year-old. Again, up against Ito, who was damn good. All right, here we go. Round one. Round one coming up, guys. Announcer announcing both the fighters in the ring. Now the walkers performed. Now that they've made their walk. Final introductions. Final introductions, final instructions from uh, the corner as well. Again, big shout out to anybody else who's stayed up or who is just waking up right now to watch some RWS with us. Really appreciate you guys. Isanua. So Isanua's in the red corner, in the blue corner representing Japan. Kiyomitsu Nagasawa. Again, each of them have decent records, man. He had 28 wins, if I'm not mistaken. I just missed their records when I was looking at the chat. All right, here we go, guys. Round one. Second fight, round one. Let's get it on. Oh, a nice push kick. Nice push kick by Isanua. Isanua, the shot to the body. Isanua right away employing those kicks to the body. High kick by Isanua. Isanua with the right hand right off the bat. Right elbow by Isanua. 30 seconds in. Right hand by Isanua. 
Oh, Isanu is looking damn good right now against this old man Nagasawa. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Ooh, inside low kick by Isanua. Isanua steps in with the right elbow. Double left jab and an inside low kick by Nasagawa, but he's got no power on that. No power on that. Push kick by Isanua. Isanua with the body kick. Right hand by Nagasawa. Nagasawa with the straight left by Isanua with the right. Nagasawa with the left. Right hand by Isanua. Body kick by Isanua. Dude, Isanua is beating this guy up. Absolutely beating this guy up right now. Push kick by Isanua. Outside low kick by Isanua. All left and right by Nagasawa. Body kick by Isanua. One minute and 14 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice left of the body by Nagasawa. Isanua didn't like that. Body kick by Isanua. Inside low kick. Good check there by Isanua. Left jab by Nagasawa, but Isanua with another left of the body, followed by a front kick. Nice right and left of the body by Nagasawa. Nagasawa, another left body shot. It took a while for Nagasawa to get going, but now that he's going, he's landing some good combos. Now that he's going, he's landing some good combos. Oh, Nagasawa with the counter right and left of the body. Final seconds of this first round. Out, outside low kick by Nagasawa. Nagasawa with a step in left of the body. Oh, big body kick by it's a new one. And that is it for the first round. That is it for the first round. Dude, exciting first round. Exciting first round. Isanua, I think, got the better of him. But Nagasawa was throwing some solid combos at the end of that round, especially to the body. Round two coming up. Some good shots of the body there for sure by Nagasawa. All judges given the first round is Sanua, though. Yep. I agree with that. I agree with that. Is Sanua. All three judges get give him 10 9. I think Sanua did enough. Bigger kicks, bigger shots overall, nice elbows. Nagasawa was only able to get that counter game going halfway through the round and it was only left to the body that really were nice shots. All right, round two, like I said, coming up here. Again, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the live chat too, guys. Okay. Round two. Again, Nagasawa, so much older than Isanua right here, but in, in textbook Thai, Thai fighter fashion, he's got just as many fights, just as many fights 10 years younger. All right, round two. Let's get it on. All right, they each trade some kicks to the body and low. Oh, a nice body kick by Isanua. Low kick by Nagasawa. Right hand by Nagasawa. And 
or Nagasawa, trying to take away distance from Isanua, but Isanua hits back with some big kicks to the body. Isanua with another right kick to the body. Left elbow by Nagasawa. It's just those kicks to the body. Isanua, you can tell they just, they're hurting so much more than those left punches that Nagasawa thrown to the body. Oh, a nice counter right by Isanua. Isanua with another right. Huge right hand by Isanua. Isanua with another right and he enters the clinch. Left jab by Nagasawa. Isanua with the left hook. Dude, Isanua is taking away all the space. He's landing the better kicks, the better kicks to the leg, the better kicks to the body, and he's setting a pace and pressure on Nagasawa that Nagasawa, quite frankly, cannot match. Isanua is younger, and he's way faster than the older Nagasawa. Another kick to the body. Man. Swing and a miss with the right hand by Nagasawa. Nagasawa now. Trying to cut some of the angles. Trying to pressure him up against the ropes. But just pushing right back forward. Is Isanua. Isanua with the left hand. Isanua with the nice left hand. That landed right on the chin of Nagasawa. Right elbow by Isanua. Isanua just is smothering him with pressure right now. Smothering him with pressure. Oh, nice right hand by Isanua. Left by Isanua. Body kick by Isanua. Isanua has not dropped him yet, but he's landed some huge shots. Oh, man. Big elbow by Isanua. Oh, counter left by... Counter left by Nagasawa. Left teep. Oh, sorry, by Isanua. And that is it for the second round. Three three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen, in Tokyo here early this morning for us in North America. It's a good fight. It's a good scrap. I just, I think Isanua also won that second round, but it's a good scrap. It's a good scrap. Mm -mm. Again, smash that like button, guys. I know we're staying up way past our bedtimes watching this. Okay, another 10-9. Round two for Isanua. 2018 going into the third. I agree with that. I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. And I guess Iowa needs a finish. But again, a big shout out to you guys for, who are watching. We usually don't whisper. We usually talk like normal people on these streams and do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. Look, man, I didn't want to skip this even though I can't put on the show like our boy Jay Smooth is right now. I got roommates. I don't have a separate office. So I'm hanging out. I'm watching. I'm whispering. But I do want to interact with you guys in the comments. So don't be shy. Drop a like. Drop a comment. All right, round three. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. Third and final round. Oh, a nice counter left and a right by Nagasawa. Nagasawa down on all the judges' scorecards right now. 2018 across the board. 
for is son Isanua. Isanua with some big kicks. And right hand by Nagasawa. Isanua man continues to pick apart the body of Nagasawa with those kicks. Nagasawa on the back foot. I mean, clinch dump now. Throwing knees is Isanua. Isanua continuing the pressure. Kicks to the body, threatening with the clinch. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, nice step in left of the body by Nagasawa. Oh, man. Those teeps by Isanua over and over and over again. Nakasawa trying to back Isanua into the corner here. Isanua is doing a great job of being able to just walk right. Take two steps forward, double left jab. Or push kick, low kick. Doesn't even really need to use his hands too much. He's doing incredible work with the kicks right now. One minute and 25 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice counter right by Isanua. Pushing forward is Nagasawa, looking to see if any of those punches to the body can drop his opponent, but this is all Isanua. Isanua with the body kick again. Yeah, those punches to the body by Nagasawa, they're not going to do anything. Oh, a nice overhand right by Isanua. Deep again by Isanua. 50 seconds left in this fight, Nagasawa knows his only chance to victory is a knockout here late. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. Yeah, Nagasawa, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's... Uh, Nagasawa's going to lose this one for Japan. As they go head to head up and down the cart, Thailand versus Japan, Nagasawa is going to get Japan's first loss here on this main card. Final seconds. And that, they clinch one more time. Nagasawa steps forward, throws a right, swing and a miss. And that is it. <laughs> That is it for the third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very clear victory for Is uh, Isanua. Very, very easy victory for Isanua here in Nagasawa. His the only thing he did well was early leg kicks and then counter combos to the body. Other than that, his step and his step and uh, combos to the body were all right too. Two to the body upright. He landed one two or sorry, one two to the body, then you throw a left or right hook. But other than that, other than that, it was Isanu who did way more damage. Way more damage. It was up on every judge's scorecard 2018 going into the third. So yeah, we're making it official right now, but clear victory for Team Thailand. We're just listening in for the judge's decision. It's a new... Uh... It is the right decision. He wins the decision. It is the right decision. Thailand, Japan tied one for one right now. All right, we got Mike Joe next, ladies and gentlemen. We got Mike Joe. Oops. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
Excuse me. Representing Japan, we got 36-year-old Mike Joe. Representing Thailand, we got Petch Mai, ladies and gentlemen. So far, Japan won. So far, Thailand won. 1-1 one, one as we go into this third fight on this card. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Mike Joe against uh, my All right, they're just being announced now before their walkout. I'm going to take a quick break, guys. I'm going to grab some more coffee. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back on the other side for more Muay Thai here at RWS Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like button and subscribe and do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know we're whispering. I know we're whispering. It's crazy. It's 4.30 a.m. where I live right now, ladies and gentlemen. Four in the morning. My whole house is sleeping. My roommates who live upstairs are sleeping. They still have two hours of sleep until they have to go to work. So I'm talking like a crazy person. Bear with me. We are watching these fights. Third fight on the main card here. RWS Japan. Let's freaking go. 
we got Mike Joe representing Japan. We got Mike Joe against Per Cha or Perch Mai here, ladies and gentlemen, out of Thailand. That's right. Perch Mai Siadamu Plarecham Darren up against Mike Joe. Let's fucking go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Mike Joe, fun fighter to watch out of Japan. Up against Petch Mai here. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Petch Mai, 24 years of age, up against the 36 year old Mike Joe. Are you kidding me? Bro, I think Thailand's going to take this one. I think Thailand is going to take this one. That is my pick. Let me know yours in the live chat. All right. Fighters are performing their waku, and then they will be announced in the ring, and then we will get to the third fight on this card. Three three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen. RWS, Japan. Let's freaking go. All right, Wah Crew being performed right now, guys. Wah Crew being performed right now. You can go a little louder, uh, young to quieter in the last 10 minutes. Oh, it sounds quieter in the last 10 minutes. I got you, I got you. Pretty good pacing to this card. Pretty good pacing to this card. Like I said, I'm just salty. I'm just salty that I wasn't able to watch the prelims. There was all there were so many prelims, man. Nine prelim fights. We only were able to watch one and a half. Emotional damage. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. All right. Mike freaking Joe, man. Mike freaking Joe. And he's done. He's done performing his Wacru. He's just showing off his sponsors now. He's like, all right, time to get paid. Time to get paid, baby. Atta boy. What a savage. What a savage. By the way, we do have a title fight at the end or in the main event here, ladies and gentlemen. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. The rest of this card is going to be awesome. Shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory, by the way, just still hanging out with us in this crazy ASMR ass freaking RWS Japanese my companion slash Isha so sleep deprived after drinking all day watching football, now watching fights. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're still going. They're still going. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Now the announcer is going to... Oh, wait, are they just going and fighting right away? Okay, no, the announcer is coming in. I was like, are they skipping the announcer? Let's go. We don't need them to be announced. Isha SMR. <laughs> Fuck, that's so loud. I'm sorry. This announcer, he, he's better than Mitch Chilson in one championship. He's better than Mitch, dude. I swear. He's got more energy. He's keeping me awake.
It's not that loud. You just used to being quiet. <laughs> I thought it was super loud. So I heard it blasting through the headphones and I'm not even wearing the headphones. Yeah, it's like, like I don't mind staying up and being sleep deprived. I just, you know, I just don't want to be a dick to the roommates. You guys will know when I get my own place, everyone will know because there'll be these like ungodly hours and I'll just be hooting and hollering. Making up for all this built up ASMR ass shit. For fuck's sakes, I couldn't watch any of them. I couldn't watch any of them. Well, we were able to watch one and a half. One and a half. That's the thing. I've, it's It's been a roller coaster of a night, dude. Or a morning, I should say, for me. I thought, like, I thought, like, right after midnight, I was going to be streaming. Nope. Then I thought, like, two hours later, nope. Then it was two hours and 40 minutes later. It was like, for fuck's sakes, dude. So, anyways, round one, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. I don't know who these English announcers are, but they're worse than ASMR ass Isha. Again, I got the TIE fighter winning this one. I got Petchamai winning this one. Already utilizing the kicks well. Outside low kick by Petchamai. Mike Joe is a little bit lankier, a little bit lankier. Oh, my shit just froze. Okay, we're back. We're back. One minute, 50 seconds on the clock. Way slower pace, way slower pace. Any word on how Takenobu Sano went? Takenobu Sano? No, I don't know. I haven't even seen on Twitter any results yet, but I'll let you. I'll let you know here in a sec. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and a nice sweep there by Mike Joe. Mike Joe, the most American Japanese name I've ever heard. Uh, it looks like Sano lost. Sano lost by decision. Man, Mike Joe just can't land anything right now. Okay, just when I see that he lands a right hand, but doing a good job of checking or getting just out of the way of the leg kicks is Petchmai. Petchmai enters with the one two. Mike Joe moving back. Catch my with the right hand. Oh, Patch my with the kick to the body. Not surprised. I got to train with him a few years ago, and he hadn't won a match since then. Oh, damn. That's crazy. You got to train with him. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of Japanese versus Japanese on the prelims. Um,. But I like the Team Thailand versus Team Je uh, Japan uh, on the main card. Who's taking on Masaki Takeuchi? Oh, nice in 2021. Yeah, Mike Joe just straight up on the defense. 
straight up on the defense in this fight. Counter game heavy. Every judge has over Pechmai, and I agree. Pechmai winning that first round 10 9. All right. Cornerman just looking at their fighters right now. Pechmai doesn't even look like he's breaking a sweat, but Mike Joe, just too gangster to sit down. Mike is the same as if I was called N Nia Jamamakaka Yoshiyazaki. The name, face don't match. <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's exactly like if Mr. Grant had this crazy long Japanese name. Whereas Mike Joe, you, you double take, you're like, Mike Joe, that's not who I pictured in my head to be a Mike Joe. <laughs> All right. Second round, ladies and gentlemen. Petchai, Mike Jones. Let's get it. Round two. Let's get it home. Oh, and a nice right and a right elbow by Petchai to start this second round. Doesn't land clean with the elbow, but <clears throat> keeps throwing it. Does Pechmai. See, threatens with the right elbow again. Doesn't get through, but he's throwing it. Pechmai with a nice combo. Pechmai with a leg. Oh, oh my goodness. Pechmai with two leg or two kicks to the body, followed by the right elbow. Mike Joe counter with the left and got off the ropes. Not able to land any clean shots is Mike Joe and a nice right hand by Pechmai. Oh, a nice body kick by Pechmai. Pechmai with the right elbow. It's going to get through. It's going to get through. Body kick by Pechmai. Mike Joe doesn't like that. Mike Joe with a nice right uppercut. Pechmai landed a big right hand on Mike Joe. Mike Joe's hurt. Mike Joe's hurt. Mike Joe's hurt. Patch my oh my. Exactly that. Patch my oh my. Man, he's just raining down the shots on Mike Joe. Raining down the shots on Mike Joe. <sighs> Smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button. All right, a minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, and trying to jump in with the right elbow entry. Yeah, wobbly, wobbly Joe, bro. Wobbly Joe. That body kick by Petschmai to over and over again. Final minute. Joe's still in this. Joe look for a right hand, but look, look at the body of Mike Joe, dude. The left side right under the rib is bruised as fuck. It's bruised to hell right now. Mike Joe trying to walk forward and throw whatever he can whatever he can muster here, but oh a nice knee to the body by Petchamai clinching final seconds of the round. And that is it for the second round. Oh man, these kicks by Petchamai, these kicks by Petchamai, dude. All right, end of the second round, and both rounds going to pitch my Mike Joe needs the knockout. As much as one has done dirty by his Muay Thai fighters, Muay Thai needs to be four ounce gloves. That's what, uh, well, that's what Liam, Liam Harrison loves about the one Muay Thai. He's like, it's just more brutal. 
And some of these guys coming off the stadium series just don't understand that. And they'll join one championship and get cracked, you know, with a punch from a small, you know, with the four ounce glove. But and, and some can handle it, some can't. Um, I can't wait KSW doing some four ounce glove Muay Thai. All right, 10 9. All judges have that second round for Patch My 2018. All judges going into this third round. Mike motherfucking Joe needs a knockout. Mike Joe needs a knockout. I have four more fights left on the card after this one. I want boxing to be four ounce gloves. Let's see Deontay Wilder go nuts. Promotions don't want that liability, brother. Like the boxing. The thing about boxing, it's like there's going to be a guy who survives a whole a whole match and then doesn't survive long after that. I mean, bro, we just saw it with we just saw it with big gloves. I don't know if I agree with that, even though I'm the soccer kick in the face guy. But uh, I, I do want to see it in all Muay Thai. Yeah, Deontay Wilder, it, in fairness, if he touched someone with Brown's gloves, they're going down. Or round three. Or at least Deontay Wilder before, uh, before he went full hippie. Oh, and a slip by Mike Joe. A slip by Mike Joe. Oh, a nice right hand by Petchmai. Nice right hand by Petchmai. Mike Joe's on the ropes. Mike Joe's on the ropes. Mike Joe's stepping back. Okay, you're right. I mean, let's see soccer kicks and boxing. There we go. There we go. Only for three seconds after a knockdown, like in karate combat. Oh, outside low kick by Petchmai. These low kicks by Petchmai are destroying Mike Joe. Look at like oh, look at the left side of Mike Joe, dude. He keeps trying to catch those leg catch those leg kicks now of Petchmai. Mike Joe's pissed. Mike Joe is pissed. I kick only on a downed opponent. Exactly that. See, and, th and that's why we're friends. That's why we're friends, Mr. Grant Gregory. The, the guys in Rise and do it all the time. Like, they clearly have knocked out their opponent or, like, dropped him, and they're just like, whoa! Soccer kick right to the face. Mike Joe sleeping on his uh, rights tonight for sure. Ouch. Or sleeping on his right side. Yeah, that that left side of his body is oh. And every time Petchmai throws that kick, he's like, yeah, let's go, let's go. Now Petchmai's Petchmai's fought a good fight here. Mike Joe's a tough, a tough son of a bitch. I'll give him that. Mike freaking Joe. I've seen him fight. I've seen him fight uh, in some other promotions before. And he fought in fucking K1. He fought in K1, Road to One Championship. He's been all over, but yeah, he fought in the K1 uh, Grand Prix this last year. Kello Roundtree's one is the only guy in mainstream MMA that utilizes soccer kicks on down opponents. Yeah, right to the ribs, baby, right to the ribs. All right, guys, and that is it for the...
which my nose he won this. He's running around the ring. He's running around the ring in victory. Oh yeah, patch my man. What a beautiful performance. What a beautiful <laughs> All three rounds he won with flying fucking carpets. Oh, dude, yeah, I just watched the clay round tree sock that kick. It's beautiful. Imagine if you could do that to the guy's face. Dude, I'm sorry, Mike Joe. You're an absolute beauty, Mike Joe, but you ain't winning this one. Winning this one is Patch My, ladies and gentlemen. It is the right decision. <laughs> All right, we have Samming Det. Wait, Samming Det Nor. Anuat against Yota Shigemori. That is right. Thailand is up two to one on Japan right now. Let's see if this next one Japan can get back in the win column. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. And again, shout out to those who are hanging out with us for the Isha ASMR stream. You know there's a Japanese event when I'm whispering away here on the channel. 5 a.m., man. I literally had just been hanging out at the bar watching Super Bowl. Stayed up, stayed up, no nap, no power nap, just coffee. And now we're watching some more time. Decent main card so far. Decent main card. Shout out to Antoine on the mic. Doing a good job. Doing a good job. Guys, don't forget to vote in the poll question. Don't forget to smash that like button. Really appreciate you guys joining. I know it's a little fucked. I'm whispering away here like a crazy person, but I live with roommates. They're sleeping. It's a Monday. I don't want to be the one to wake them up first. So that's why I'm talking a little quieter here. But uh, we are going to continue to react to the fights. I will comment on the fights. I will comment and answer any of the questions in the live chat. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Twenty likes on the video. I'll take it, man. I will take it. Fifty votes as well. Let's go. What's your favorite Muay Thai stadium show? RWS, thirty-two percent. Lupini, fifty-two percent. Channel Seven, twelve, and Yokal four. Honest fans. Honest fans. We're almost at eight thousand subscribers too. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yo, speaking of Jay, what's going on? Here? Cheers, bro. Amazing card so far. Let's see who takes it. Dude, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. RWS Japan, baby. Let's go, Jay. Let's go. Dude, you got a great stream going on right now. You got half of Japan in your stream right now. So shout out to you, man. Keep up the great stream. Um, I already smashed that like button in Rush Hour Fight Club stream earlier, dude. If you haven't already, go check him out. Smash that like button in his stream. He's one of the real ones here staying up super late as well. 
He's smarter than me, though. He probably snuck in a power nap. He probably snuck in a power nap. All right, making their way into the ring are the next two fighters here. Let's see if Japan uh, can catch up to Thailand, can catch up to Thailand here in this head-to-head -head main card, RWS Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Rush Hour Fight Club, who's also streaming right now. All right, Shigemori entering the ring. Honestly, the intros for the fights take longer than the fights themselves. And, and I have nothing against the walk crews, but like cut them down, cut them down a little bit. And like the fighters only need one introduction. They don't need two. They don't need two. All right, let's go. Japanese fighter is in the cage. I was going to say in the cage, in the ring. I'm just commenting in uh, Jay's stream. All right. Both the fighters are performing their walk crew. And uh, yeah, we'll get to the official introductions after that. Again, Anuat. Let's see his topology. Have any info on him? Not much. Not much. Won his last fight in 2022. I'm sure he's fought since. I'm sure he's fought since. Shigemori, much more active, fighting a knockout. Magnum Titan. Looks like he did get a uh, a win at the end of 2023 <laughs> up against a tie, guys. So that's promising. And according to Tapology, Semingnet uh, hasn't fought since, what did it say, 2022? So we'll see. We'll see if that's true. If he's come out of retirement to represent Thailand against this Japanese fighter in Tokyo. Looks like he's in good shape, though. So. I mean, most Thai, most Thai guys... <laughs> They stay in good shape, training or teaching. Okay, the Watt crews are complete. Fighters are going to be officially announced in the ring. Again, shout out to this announcer. Pulling off the bow tie tucks look perfectly. And so far, Thailand up 2-1, head-to-head on this card. Fourth fight on the main card. Three more to go after this. Let's see who can run away with it, Thailand or Japan here tonight. 82 wins, 42 losses, 5 draws for Seming Det. Not the best uh, ratio there. Not the best ratio there. Hmm. I mean, maybe this is a quick finish. Maybe he hasn't fought in a while. Thirty-nine, eight, and six. Of course, he has six fucking draws in Japan. 39 wins, eight losses, six draws for Yota Shigamori. I imagine he's the favorite. I imagine he's the favorite.
All right, let's go. Round one is upon us. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll get right to it. Round one. All right, now that the extremely long intros are done, we got to fight three three-minute rounds. Fourth fight on this main card. Body kick by Shigamori. High kick by Samming Det. Samming Det with the left. Shigamori with the left and the right. Low kick by Shigamori. High kick by Samming Det. Oh, someone's getting knocked out, bro. Someone's getting knocked out. Samming Det with the body kick. High kick by Samming Det. Samming Det with the left hand. Having dead with the body kick, she more with the left and right. Big shout out to whoever is watching right now. Shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Two minutes on the clock. Each of them exchanging high kicks. Oh, nice left and a right by Samming Dead. Samming Dead firing that high kick up over and over again. Countered by Shigamori. She can with the body kicks and low kicks. One minute 30 on the clock. Step back left by Shigamori. Oh, a nice left by Seming Dead. Dude, Seming Dead's looking good. Oh, inside leg kick by Seming Dead. High kick by Seming Dead. Body kick by Shigamori. Dude, Samming Dead is piecing up this Japanese fighter right now. Counter right elbow attempt by Shigamori, but way out of range. Outside low kick by Shigamori. Body kick. Dude, Samming Dead just has way more power on his shots. Way more power on his shots. King Shigamori up. Samming Det. He, I mean, he has been pretty much all fight. Those counter outside low kicks by Shigamori. I mean, Samming that's reading those now and just checking the leg kick. Oh, a nice left by Samming Det. High kick by Samming Det again. Swing and a miss. Man, Samming Dead, yeah, way more aggressive in this fight so far. All right, that is it for the first round. That is it for the first round. What a great round by Samming Dead. What a great round by Samming Dead. And again, Japan needs to get back in the win column here. Needs to get back in the win column. And so far, Shigamori is not helping out his country up against Thailand here in this tournament, not even in this tournament, in this head-to-head -head card. And big shout out to you guys watching. Smash that like button. I know I'm whispering like a crazy person, but it's freaking 5 a.m. where I'm at right now and I don't want to wake up my house. Everybody else is sleeping. Ugh. All right, I got round one going to Semming debt. I got round one going to Thailand. All the judges have a 10 9 Thailand. 10 9 Semming debt. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Okay, round two coming up here in just a moment. Again, seven fights on the card. Fourth fight, three more left. I swear they get they get more than one one minute on the pitch. They must get like two minutes. Excuse me, as I yawn away here, five a.m. 
these two cups of coffee do nothing when you're when you spend the whole day at the bar watching uh pre-gaming and watching nfl football that's why i'm whispering i'm here in north america it's still so early Loving the eight minutes between rounds. Yeah, like, what the hell is this? Why are the introductions and the time between rounds more than the actual fight? All right, here we go. Round two. Let's go. Mr. Grant Gregory, I thought it was me at first because I'm like, all right, he's just complaining because he's tired. It's late. Everything seems long, but not. Nah. Right, we, we are in the second round now. Body kick by Shigamori, low kick. Dude, summing that. And I said it in the first round, just so much more power on his shots. Oh, that body shot and right hand by summing that, dude. Beautiful, beautiful. Inside low of a kick by summing that. Yeah, Shigamori, he may be landing some nice shots, but it doesn't look like there's any power on them at all compared to Zatan. Another body kick by summing dead. Did I cover Brave last night? It, uh, no, it wasn't live. What's up, King James? It was reruns, right? Wasn't it reruns? I'm not sure when the next live Brave event is, but what's up, King James? Good morning. One minute and 24 seconds, high kick by summing debt. Inside low kick attempt by Shikamori. Dude, oh, body kick by summing debt. Dude, Shikamori's taking some big shots. Yo, be like King James and smash that like button. It's summing that. Not as, oh, as I say, not as aggressive. Summing that lands a beautiful left double high kick. Dude, one of these high kicks is going to land. Shigamore is going to drop that glove a little bit and summing that is going to smoke him. All right, maybe not, but we can hope. We can hope. Regardless, those punches, those follow-up punches after those body kicks on those entries by summing that are landing, and they're beautiful. Beautiful. And Shigamori, just the taller, lankier, and quite frankly, easier fighter to hit so far in this fight. That is it for the second round. Beautiful second round by summing that again. Watching some replays. Yeah, I thought after the first round that someone was someone was getting knocked out, but Shigamori, I'll, I'll give him credit. He's got a good chin. He's been cracked straight with some punches and hasn't even been knocked down. All right, third and final round. Every judge giving it to summing that 10 9. Yep. I agree. I agree. I got to head out, brother. Take care. Stay fighting. Hey, we're staying up. We're, we're fighting the nap bite us. We're fighting the nap bite us. <laughs> that you showed this weekend, man. Really appreciate you. UFC preview video uh, sometime this week. Let's go. Shigamori he is badass, though. He's standing up right now. He knows he needs the finish. He needs the finish. Two 
Tuesday, I am able. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, just message me on Discord or, or Twitter, and we'll set it up. But yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday will work. Have a good rest of your day, Mr. Grant Gregory. Can't wait to collab. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Third, or right, we'll lock it in more in the chat. Yeah, let's do it. Fucking rights. I can't wait long overdue doing a collab with Mr. Grant Gregory. All right, third and final round. Let's get it on. And Shigamori needs the knockout. Shigamori needs the knockout, or he will lose this fight. Or Thailand will go up 3 1 in the head-to-head -head main card. More ammunition for our boy, Jamie and Eric, who's not our boy, but Eric on Twitter. Yeah, and you can see your Shikamori active left Right low kick or right body kick, but Sammy Dead is replying with every shot here and a and a better one in that. But you can see Shikamori is a little bit more active with those counter rights. Stepping with the left hook, trying to catch that leg kick. Just still quicker summing that. Summing that after Shigamori will throw a big shot. Summing that just walks right forward, throws two punches or a couple leg kicks. Oh, Summing that with a nice left hook. Summing that with a beautiful left hook. Oh, Shigamori wanted to take advantage of Summing that getting tripped up there. One minute on the clock. Pushing Summing Dot to the ground with Shigamori after catching his leg kick, or sorry, catching his high kick, leg kick. Jeez. Each of them exchange a body kick, but again, Summing Dot's man just looks so much better. Shigamori with a left and a right. Shigamori with a left hook and a Low kick. Oh, nice step back left hook by Shigamori after he ducks under the high kick of Sami Dot. It's like Shigamori, where were you all fight? Shigamori with a right hand. Where was this Shigamori all fight? Where was this man all fight, ladies and gentlemen? Where was he all fight? Summing down with a step back, kick to the body. Too little, too late for this pressure, Shigamori. Shigamori with the right hand, and that is it. Bro, if Shigamori fought this aggressive the entire third round, or even in parts of the second round, this would have been A, a scrap, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute scrap, and B, a much closer fight. Summing that probably won that third round too. Regardless, he did enough to win. Thailand's going up three to one. Thailand's going up three to one. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Bro, he just missed him with that elbow too. Imagine your name being comeback because we have comeback coming up next year from Thailand against Ma Watari. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. We are listening in for the official decision. God, I'm just going to go. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> 
Sao Ming Dat, ladies and gentlemen, Thailand goes up three to one against Japan. Featured fight coming up next. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have comeback. That is right. Comeback Yodi Youth against Yota Mawatari. Can Mawatari bring back a W for Japan here on this card? We shall find out. Oh, he's on a two-fight losing streak. He's on a two-fight losing streak in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Row to one in Muay Thai and Japan kick warrior for kickboxing. Before then, he beat Gang Chi. He beat Gang Chi, motherfuckers. He beat Gang Chi and he beat Gang. Gang Gang Chi, ladies and gentlemen. Five wins in a row before going on this two fight losing streak. And again, this is just on tapology, so take this with a grain of salt. We will hear his official record on the tail of the tape as they are introduced in the ring, but just a little bit of a con, just some context to his recent fights. Don't call it a comeback. All right. Nothing. Tapology's got nothing on the TIE fighter. Tapology usually has a little bit more on the Japanese fighters, I find. All right, guys. Um, sit tight. We'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a little bit more coffee and some water. And, uh, yeah, be right back. Quick break. Two minutes on the other side. We will react to the next fight here. The fifth fight, the featured fight, guys. So I want to keep reading your comments, so smash that like button. Comment in the live chat. Keep them coming, ladies and gentlemen. RWS Japan, live, City Life Project, fight companion, ASMR-style motherfuckers. Back on the other side. Do not go anywhere. I'm taking a quick break.
and we are back live here on the city life project youtube channel for another live fight companion it is bright and early 5 18 a.m where i'm at right now so yeah i'm talking a little quiet right now the roommates are still sleeping i don't want to be their alarm that wakes them up on monday before they go to work okay but we are hanging out we are watching some rws japan both of the fighters just wrapped up their wa crew they will be announced in the center of the ring shortly and we'll get to our fifth fight of the main card thailand is up three to one against japan Japan won the first fight on the card and it's just been downhill from there, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers. And look, we don't always whisper. We don't always whisper on these streams like a bunch of crazy people hide. <laughs> It's just super late, like or super early, like I said. So, just don't want to wake up my household. We do live fight companions every single weekend. What do we cover this weekend? Octagon, BFL, LFA, UFC. It's been a lot of fun, guys. It's been a lot of fun. So, uh, we'll post our fight schedule for the next week. We'll do some one championship, I imagine. Some UFC, of course. There'll be some other fights and awesome cards that we stream as well. So anyways, check it out. Click the live tab on the channel to see all the live content that we cover. And don't forget to see some of the other videos that we post weekly as well. But anyways, let's turn the focus back to the fights here. 28, 9, and 2 for the Japanese fighter, man. The ties have just been too good. The ties have been just too, too good. Don't call it a comeback, but we're going with comeback. That was terrible, I know. Terrible. I got no jokes. It's too early for jokes. At 5.30 a.m. All right, the intros are done. Fifth fight on the card is starting now. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Oh, high kick by. Come back. Come back to the body. Dude, come back is just spamming leg kicks. Spamming leg kicks, my dude. Oh, already with the count. Already with the count. Come back. Leg kicks to the body. Of Mawatari. Mawatari's already hurt. Mawatari's already hurt. Oh my god. Surviving the count. Mawatari already going in for the clinch. Left hand by comeback. High kick by comeback. Oh, left hand by comeback, dude. Comeback is schooling. Mawatari early. Maltari's a little bit taller, has the reach advantage, as you can see here. But comeback is taking away the distance. Comeback with a straight left on the entry. Body kick by comeback. Comeback with the left hand. Maltari's hurt. Don't call it a comeback. Nice knee in the clinch by Maltari. But you come back, look stopped. Come back, look stopped. Left hook by come back. Oh, nice body kick by come back. Mawatari step in right hand. Oh, a nice high kick by Mawatari. But again, it's just like the TIE fighters just have a little bit more power in their shots here on this card anyways, up against the Japanese fighters. Oh, a nice left and a right by comeback. Mawatari took those 
clean. Dude, come back, lands another right hand. Dude, come back has been landing some sick shots early in this first round. 30 seconds on the clock. Body kick by comeback. Couple good elbows by Ma Mawatari in the clinch. Mawatari with a couple good shots. Me, Mawatari's still in this. Mawatari's still in this. Despite being dropped in the first round, Mawatari's still in this fight. Body kick by, oh my goodness, by comeback. Another body kick by comeback. The ties are spamming body kicks on this card, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it for the first round. Easy, easy, easy first round for comeback. Easy first round for comeback. He got the knockdown. He landed the huge, huge shots. Yeah, that left hook. Spamming body kicks. Better combos. It's not even close. It's not even close. I mean, let me know if you disagree, man. Let me know if you disagree. But I feel like we're watching a different fight if you disagree. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Smash that like button, guys. 10-8 has to be. He got the knockdown. Exactly that. 10-8 for comeback. Not looking good for the Japanese already. Not looking good for the Japanese as they're going head-to-head -head with Thailand in freaking Tokyo. In Tokyo. What's up, Erlen? Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. All right. Second round starting soon here, guys. Dude, the zone broadcast for this, it, it ain't great. It ain't great. I mean, you could at least have your guys, like, talking in between rounds. But beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. Round two. Let's get it on. Oh, big right hand by comeback. Inside low kick by comeback. Left elbow by comeback. Dude, the ref separates them from the clinch instantly. Oh my goodness. High kick by comeback. High kick by comeback. It landed clean. Mawatari is just hanging on for dear life right now. Mawatari is hanging on for dear life. Mawatari throwing a kick. Right hand by Mawatari. Great clinch work by. Come back. Oh, come back with a high kick. Clenching ears come back. Mawatari throws that right swing and a miss. Great distance control by comeback. Utilizing that kicks to utilizing his kicks to not only to do damage on the body of Mawatari, but also just to take away his distance. Control the distance as well. Keep him at bay. Oh, that right side of Mawatari is so swollen right now. Left elbows by comeback in the clinch. 
Oh, a nice left by comeback in Mawatari, man. He's throwing whatever he can entering the clinch, but Mawatari needs a knockout in the final 30 seconds, and I don't think he's going to get it. Thailand is going to go up 4 to 1. Thailand is going to go up 4 to 1. Twenty one seconds on the clock. Oh, Mawatari close in the distance, stepping in, body kick, right elbow. Oh shit, that's round two. Oh my goodness, for some reason I thought that was round two. That's the Napitis. That's the Napitis. <laughs> Round two comes to an end. Round one was a 10-8. Round one was a 10-8 as Mawatari was dropped early. Got an early count, got back up, survived the rest of the round, but just got beaten up. And, th and then in the second round, it was more of the same. In the second round, it was more of the same. Didn't get dropped. I imagine 10-9. I imagine 10-9. We'll see the judges scorecards shortly. Round three coming up. Yep, 10-9. 10-9 in that second round for comeback. No knockdown, thus no 10-8, but 2017 on all judges scorecards. You guys know what I'm about to say. You guys know what I'm about to say. Mawatari needs a knockout. Mawatari needs a knockout or he's going to lose this fight. Mawatari needs a knockout. Or Thailand's going to go up 4-1 on Japan. In Tokyo, RWS. All right, third round is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like button. Be like Don Cherry. Again, guys, sorry I'm whispering here. It's so early where I live and I have roommates. I don't want to wake them up. I almost canceled this card because it was so freaking early. Started at, what, 3 a.m. my time? But uh, I'm a junkie when it comes to fights. I couldn't skip it. And for those who are hanging out with us, you are awesome. I appreciate you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Round three. Let's get it on. Finally. And you know what? Respect to Mawatari, man. He's come out just swinging, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at comeback, but he doesn't have the power. I don't think he's going to get a comeback against freaking comeback. But he's got heart. He's got heart, I'll tell you that much. Clinch right now. Ref separates. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice body shot by comeback. Swing and a miss with the right hand by Mawatari. Two minutes on the clock. Mawatari with a nice left hook. Again, Mawatari understands the assignment in this third round. He needs the knockout. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking at the clock. He knows, okay, I have one minute and 42 seconds. And look, Mawatari just looking for that big right hand. Mawatari with a kick to the body on the entry in the clinch here. One minute and 20 seconds. Mawatari looking for that big shot. He's looking for that big shot. Oh, but he continues to eat body kicks by comeback. Mawatari swing and a miss with that right hand again. Knee to the body of Mawatari. Throwing. Come back to the ground. 
I mean, if Mawatari gets a knockout in the final 50 seconds here, that would be one of the greatest comebacks against freaking comeback. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Even if even if the judges give the third round to Mawatari, it doesn't matter. Because Mawatari is being more active in this third round, but is are all his shots landing? No. And and come back. He's defending well. He's defending well. And he's landing low kicks and body kicks still. Not the punches that we saw in round one and two, but he's landing the he's still landing kicks. Anyways, final seconds of the third round. Swing and a miss with that hook is Mawatari. I think this is going to be it. Final seconds, and that is it for the fight. Good round, good round. Honestly, Mawatari might have done enough to win that third round. It doesn't matter. 10-8 win for comeback in the first, 10-9 in the second. It's over. It is all over. All right, we are waiting the official decision, but I imagine Thailand is up 4-1 in Japan, RWS. Co-main event of the evening coming up next. They already have a decision, yep. Oh, it's going Thailand, it's going Thailand. We're just listening in. We're just listening in. Easy decision. No doubt in my mind, even in Japan, that the judges were going to give it to the Japanese fighter. 4-1. 4-1, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Wow. And I mean, we'll show you on the card right now. So Ito started off the card great for Japan. She gets a win. Nakasawa loses. Mike Joe loses. Shigemori loses. Mawatari loses. Ken um, Renta Matsui. Ken Matsui beat freaking... Oh my goodness. Lam Nam Moonlik. God damn. My apologies for butchering your name, sir. Lam Nam Unlik. Lamlan Unlik. That is a badass name. Oh, I've seen this guy fight before. I've seen this guy fight before. He's fought in shootbox, yep. Shootbox and earlier. Early 2023. He lost, but. Anyways, co main event coming up next year. Japan, you know, they can't come back in the race at this point, but they can get two more wins and, you know, make it a good, close to even fight here on the end of the card as Japan goes head to head with Thailand or continues to go head to head with Thailand in this RWS Japan card. Co-main event. And the fighters are about to make their way to the ring now. I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Here we go. So the announcer's saying that actually nobody wants to fight this guy right now. This tie fighter. All right, let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. 
Matsui. Of course he's on a win streak. Of course he's on a win streak. Two, four, six fight win streak. He's beaten this guy twice. Mm. Kind of can. Oof. Okay, so this every every freaking win that Matsui has is, is against a guy who's like who been losing, bro. Who been losing, bro? God. I mean, I want Japan to like come back and at least get one win here, but I I, I got to go with the Tie Fighter again. I have to. I have to go with him again. Let's see how this one plays out. Making his way to the ring right now is Ren, uh, Renta Matsui. Then Mutsi... Um, Renta Matsui is entering the cage right now. Again, I know we have only had a small crowd here. I don't even know who's like hanging out watching this, listening to this ASMR ass motherfucking stream. But those of you who are appreciate you. Again, we <laughs> we don't whisper like like this on every single stream. It's just super early where I live right now. Obviously, this is in Japan. I'm in the United States, so. I have roommates, didn't want to wake them up, so I, I was originally going to skip this, but I'm like, look, I'm going to end up watching it anyways. I might as well do a stream, and if there's anybody in the live chat here, we can uh, we can chat a little bit, but usually we do live and focus play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction. You see my reaction, and we interact with all you amazing folks in the live chat, so appreciate you guys. Smash that like button. Join us next week for a full weekend of fight companions where we're not going full asmr up in this mouth <laughs> all the new subscribers we are almost at eight thousand oh my god almost at eight thousand unbelievable thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to all the returning subscribers all the members every single one of you who help us who've helped us grow we appreciate you all right Co main event of the evening fighters are performing their whack cruise right now okay there's a little bit of analysis going on there's a little bit of analysis going on Not too much, but a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's a catchweight. Okay, so it was supposed to be a title shot, but one of the fighters didn't make weight. Interesting. So I have my volume on the broadcast just turn turned down because I don't want the mic to like pick up any of that audio, but oh. I think this was supposed to be a title fight, but title fight fell through due to a weight issue. Anyways, guys, I have uh Lam Nam Uniek. Lam Nam Uniek. I have the Thai fighter winning this one. I have Thailand going five and one going into the main event. Let me know who you are picking to win this one. Vote in the poll question. Like this video and subscribe. We are almost at 8,000. Let's freaking go. Appreciate every single one of you. And look at this. Aaron Vlog. 
Mr. Grant Gregory, who is here, Rush Hour Fight Club, who is putting on a tremendous show as we speak as well. He actually can talk like a real person right now. It's his roommates aren't sleeping. I don't even know if he has roommates or not. Probably not. He's a grown-ass man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fighters are finished performing their wakrus. They are about to be formally announced in the ring. Like I said, guys, fighters are just being formally introduced in the ring right now. We'll bring back the ticker on the bottom of the screen here in a sec. All right, introducing out of the red corner from Thailand. 101 wins, 28 losses, and two draws. 101 and 28. Wow. A hundred and one wins, twenty-eight losses, and two losses for the tie fighter. Wow. So they were supposed to fight at 135, but one of them had weight issues, so they fought at a catch weight. All right, out of the blue corner. Twenty-two, five, and one. A little bit of a record mismatch there, but whatever. Who cares? We have Ren Renda Matsui for Japan. Japan needs to get back in the win column. It's Matsui's turn to take down Buddy, who has 101 wins. <laughs> Co-main event of the evening, round one. Thailand, Japan, continue to face off. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> round one. And Renta early, early trying to cut the distance. Left and a low leg kick by Lam Nam Moonlick. Good morning, hockey from home. Good morning. Oh, nice body kick by the tie fighter. Oh, right so with a big left hand. Renta being aggressive here early, even in the clinch. Swing and a miss by Lamna Munlek. Lamna Moonlik. It's not the worst Thai name, or it's not the hardest Thai name to pronounce. Peace. Oh, Renta's big, man. Renta's big. Renta with the body kicks here, threatening Lamna Moonlik into the corner. But Lamna Moonlik, good job controlling the ring himself. A little bit of the shorter fighter, but Renta just is a big dude. Oh, step in left. Step in left for Lamna Moonlik. Oh, big left by Renta. This is a scrap. This is a scrap. Low kicks and a right by Lamna Moonlik. Dude, in the corner, Lamna Moonlik. Putting on work on Renta. Double right jab by Lamna Moonlik. Lamna Moonlik with a right to the body. Oh, 
Rent over the counter, right? Love not moon like putting up volume, just missing with that head kick. Good body shot by Renta. Back and forth, back and forth. And Labna Moonlik with a nice left hand. And Renta going for the leg kick, swing and a miss, and he falls to the ground. Nice one two by Labna Moonlik. And that is it for the first round. Good first round, good first round. Back and forth, but Lamna Moonlik landed the better shots. No, but I do like the offense by Matsui here. Renta, he's not being timid at all. He's not being timid. He's throwing, you know, three to five punch, three to five mixed combos, three to five strike combos, I should say. Mixing, mixing in the punches and the kicks there. Going low, going to the body. So far, so good, but the ties, man, the ties up and down on this card, the ties are looking good. Round two. How much time do they get between rounds? This is crazy. All right, round two coming up. Waiting, waiting, waiting for round two. All right, here we go. Let's get it. The tie fighter up. All judges gave a 10-9 to the Lam Nun Lam Nan Moonlik. Oh, Renta with a big left hook. Two minutes and thirty seconds on the clock. Lam Oh, nice right uppercut by Renta, Renta with a straight left. Lamna Moonlik just evading that left hook of Renta. Renta coming up strong here again, throwing some big shots. Step in left elbow by Renta, pushing Lamna Moonlik up against the ropes. Ref separates. High kick attempt by. Lamna Moonlik, and he throws Renta to the ground. Renta with a high kick. Lamna Moonlik with a high kick. Renta with a couple lefts to the body of Lamna Moonlik. Clinch ref separates. Counter right by Lamna Moonlik. Good right hand. Left hook by Renta. He eats a left by Lamna Moonlik, and Lamna Moonlik also going to the body. Oh, step in left by Lamna Moonlik and an inside left leg kick as well. Oh, nice step in left and right by Lamna Moonlik. Lamna Moonlik with the left of the body. Lamna Moonlik with the right hand. Lamna Moonlik in and out. He's got a nice flow going. Lamna Moonlik with a left and a right. Lamna Moonlik clinches in the corner. He's doing great work. He's doing great work. 40 seconds left and a right by Lamna Moonlik. 
Lambda Moon like trying to go for a high kick. Lambda Moon like with the left elbow. Drop his hands is Renta. Clenching right now is Renta. Ref separates. Body kick by Lamna Moonlik, left by Lamna Moonlik, knee by Lamna Moonlik. Lamna Moonlik, he's clowning right now. He's clowning. Hands down, moving his head side to side. Man, we're just looking at the replays right now. Lamna Moonlik. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you all, by the way, for joining. Again, super early for me. The sun is about to rise. The sun is about to rise. We've been live for, what, three hours? All judges have that second round 10-9 for Lamna Moonlik. 2018 going into the third and final round. I agree with that. I agree with that. He looked a little bit more dominant, a little bit more vicious in that first round, but he really turned it up in what the last minute of that second round was Lamna Moonlik. So his third round coming up here, he's up to. Matsui needs a knockout. Again, for like the fourth time in a row, the Japanese fighter going into the third round, down two rounds, needs a knockout. None of them have been able to get it done. None of them have been able to get it done. Let me know if you think Matsui can get it done in the live chat. Third and final round co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. An aggressive Matsui's going to come out aggressive like he's been coming out every single round so far, but he's, he's going to have to put everything into these bunches. He's going to have to go all gas, no brakes. And so far, he's doing that. So far, he's doing that. Letting the ref separate him from the clinch and then getting right back to it, setting the pace. Kick, enters. We're going to try to land a body shot as he enters next here. Spinning back fist, spinning back fist attempt. Crazier than the body shot. Kick attempt by Renta. Body kick by Renta. Wrench chasing down. Lamna Moonlik into the corner, but Lamna Moonlik, man, he's trying to land some flying knees. He's trying to land some fancy shit. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock. Nice left by Lamna Moonlik. Oh, and there's some, there's some nice body shot combos by Renta, but Lamna Moonlik doing a good job of covering up. One minute and 28 seconds on the clock, and Renta needs a knockout. Renta needs a knockout. Renta trying to take away the distance, trying to take away space of, of Lamna Moonlik, but now Lamna Moonlik doing a good job of utilizing the ring. Utilizing the ring, clenching at the right times, securing this round. Or even if he loses this round, getting out of it with no damage, knowing he's won round one and two.
final 40 seconds for Renta to get a knockout, and he's stalking Lemnum. He's stalking Lemnum, Moon looked down, but not lending any of those big shots left to the body, but that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Lamna Moonlick with a body kick just misses the head of Renta. Lamna Moonlick landing some nice right hands on the back foot, no less. Piecing him up, piecing him up. It's over, man. Renta's not going to get the takedown. Lamna Moonlick throws him to the ground for good measure. That's it. It's over, man. Lamna Moonlick. Lands a left, and then Lamna Moon like slips at the end there, and it's all over. It is all over. Look, Renta, tough as nails, took some huge shots, came out in the first and second round, looking like he had a little bit more power than you know some of his countrymen on this card who were just kind of outclassed in the power department up against the ties in, in some of these matchups but Lamna Moonlick man absolutely outclassed him in the first and second round in the third there Lamna Moonlick played a lot more of the defensive game and I imagine Thailand's going to take it man 5 to 1 on the card right now Let's see if Japan can get one more, make it five to two in the main event. Wow. Yep. <laughs> the Moonlick wins, ladies and gentlemen, and Thailand now. Oh my goodness. Saya Ito, the first fight on the card was the only win for Japan. And Saya Itu, 25 years of age, Nong Min, her opponent, 17. Japan's only win on this card was beating up a 17-year-old. Oh, my God! Nagasawa lost. Mike Joe lost. Shigemori lost. Mawatari lost. And Renta just lost. Is Nad Nadaka or Nadaka? Sorry, is Nadaka the only hope? Is Nadaka the only hope? First fighter, first fight on the card, Japan wins. Last fight on the card, Japan wins. Is that how this is going to play out? We shall see. We shall see. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. The fights you have been waiting for, damn rights, damn rights, we've been waiting for three hours, bro. It's been a pretty good main card, it's been a pretty good main card. I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Smash that like button. This is for the belt. This is for the belt. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you gotta get to school. That's why she's up early. Nice. Well, I mean, everybody else is up getting up for work. Hockey's getting up for school. All right, we're just watching the cold open for this final fight on the card. Um, yeah, let's take a look at these next two fighters. Nadaka Yoshinari, 23 years of age, okay? Looks like he's champion in kickboxing, at least amateur champion. Um, oh, he's on a hell of a win streak right now. But man, all of these Japanese fighters were on a hell of a win streak. Holy crap, it looks like he's never... Is he undefeated in kickboxing? Is he undefeated in kickboxing? 
bro, dude, this guy looks legit. He might be, like I said, the last hope for the Japanese guys against the ties on this card. All right. He's 23 years of age, 54 wins, 54 wins, six losses, 37 wins by knockout, 54 and six and one, 54, six and one. Dude, that's a pretty damn good record. Here, I'm going to update that here. 54, six and one. Not bad, not bad. What's up, everybody joining us? Smash that like button. We got the main event of the evening coming up here. Looking at his opponent, we got Prabhupra, who's the champion right now. Unbelievable. All right, here we got the cold open. I mean, you you know, you know it's a Japanese fight card you know it's a japanese main event when the cold open for the <laughs> for the main event looks like this and it's well produced i love it chef's kiss all right ladies and gentlemen 109 total fights for private pro here 88 wins, 16 losses, 88, 16, and 5. What a record. What a record. All right. Update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, what, what a crazy record. This, you know, this isn't correct. Tapology's got no idea. Tapology's weigh in heavily with Japanese fighters here tonight. And look who's been cleaning up. Look who's been cleaning up. Thailand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Main event of the evening. Main event of the evening. Main event of the morning. Shout out to all of you who are joined. Shout out to all of you who are joining. Shout out to all of you who stopped by. Shout out to all of you who have dealt with the ASMR ass stream. We have one more fight. One more fight. Main event of the evening, RWS Japan. Dude, Ken Nadaka Yoshinari. This guy who's been absolutely dominating in kickboxing right now. And in Muay Thai, can he get one more win for Japan as they've gone head to head in Tokyo against the ties? Can he do it? Can he do it? Let me know in the live chat. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the cold opens being introduced right now, the intro video for this main event. And Like I said, in, in in very Japanese fashion, it's awesome. Reminds me of like something Rise would do on the kickboxing side. Rise in on the MMA side. I wish the zone did a better job with the sound, though. I can't hear too much of it. Anyways, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think it's over now. I don't I don't know what's going on with the DAZN broadcast, but I think they just went into the in arena. They're going to be bringing up the lights soon. But anyways, main event of the evening. Here we go. Nadaka making... Oh, shit. There it is. The challenger history in the making, as the broadcast said. Nataka Yoshinari making his walk out to the ring. Making his walk out to the ring. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. In front of his home crowd. Not necessarily his home crowd, but in front of Tokyo. 
the RWS fighter gets to fight at home. Looks like he's also fought in Horizon in kickboxing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, back at Ryzen 31, he fought kickboxing. There you go. All right. Entering the ring now is Nadaka Yoshinari. Again, guys, do you think Yoshinari can take out the champion here? Do you think Yoshinari can get one more win for Japan head to head against Thailand? This is the most competitive matchup on the card. Is it not? Is this not the most competitive matchup on the card? Or are you guys going, no, the ties got this. It ain't competitive. Because it hasn't been competitive for most of this card. It's been the ties just ripping through the Japanese. But Nadaka's good, man. Nadaka's good. And it, and it looks like he's un, or not undefeated anyways, but he's on crazy win streak right now. Anyways, he's walking around the ring in front of his Japanese crowd. The crowd is pumped. The crowd is cheering him on. And now the TIE fighter is making his walk out. Pro making his walk in of the champion. Representing Thailand. Pro Pro. That's how you pronounce his last name. My apologies. Pro Pro, the champion, making his descent to the ring now. Funky walkout music. He's the villain here in Japan, despite him being the champion. This is going to be an absolute banger. Final fight on the card. Main event of the evening for the belt. For the championship and oh my god i got chills i got goosebumps right now ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a tremendous fight the champion is about to enter the ring they will perform their whack cruise they will be formally introduced and then we will have a title fight present to us in front of us here in the main event of the evening smash that like button smash that like button let's go oh WS, let's go, baby. Here we go. The champion. The champion is in the ring. The champion is in the ring. All right. I'm actually interested to see both of their WAC crews. Some of them have gone on a little too long tonight. I'll just say that, but. Who am I to judge, you know? All right, 25 years old. Is Pro, Pro and Adaka 23 years old, as I said. Pretty much all the other stats are the same. Adaka, two inches of reach. All right, Waku is being performed right now. Daka going corner to corner, bowing, them getting in each other's way here as they each I mean, it is interesting, like you're sharing the ring 
before you're going to go to war, a Muay Thai war. And you're bumping into each other, performing your walk crew. You're bumping into each other. You're performing your ritual before you fight. It's pretty crazy. They're bumping into each other in the corner. They're smiling. Both of them continuing to perform. I, mean, I, I, I hate calling it a dance, man. It's the Wat crew. I like calling it a ritual more. And that's kind of what it represents. All right. Like I said, some, some of them go a little long. Some of them, it's like, I, I, you, you hit every corner. All right, here we go. Like, Thailand's ready. Let's go. Thailand's ready. Like, that was perfect. I was just going to say, that's when you wrap it up. Like, the Japanese fighter, he's still just dancing away. He's still just dancing away. <laughs> now he's doing the crane dance. Like, bro, the Thai fighter's ready to go. Get in the corner. Stare him down. It's time for some violence. Like, bro, you're taking too long now. You're taking too long now. And it's all oh my God. And now you're going full crane again. Now you're going full crane again. And you're the challenger, bro. You're the challenger. You can't be the one who keeps on dancing. You're the challenger. Like, that should be the rule. You cannot be the one who keeps on dancing when you're the freaking challenger. Bro, he's still dancing. Sorry, I kept calling it. I just said I didn't want to call it dancing. Now I'm calling it dancing. He's still performing his walk room. Dude, now he's pulling like a bow and arrow on his opponent. He's going full Adesonia, but he's still not done. It's just like an extra long kata at this point. Samurai? Okay, okay. You put on a little bit of a show here. Put on a little bit of a show. I don't know. For me, that's just it's a little bit too long. A little bit too long. But regardless, we have the official announcement coming up next, guys. Official announcement, main event of the evening. Here we go. The challenger out of Japan, Nadaka Yoshinari. And then we'll see if Thailand gets six and one. That'd be crazy. <laughs> the announcer does a good job, man. The announcer does a good job. Yeah, good morning to everyone who's up early as well. Appreciate you guys. The real fight fans wake up early on Monday out here in North America to watch some Muay Thai. So shout out to you guys. Main event of the evening next. Main event of the evening next. Nadaka, 53 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. He is the challenger, 23 years of age. Longest walk crew of the night, not a big deal. Going full samurai up in this mouth. I do like the music as they're announcing him. Dude, this does seem like just a cool arena to go to. I will say shout out Japan hosting RWS here. At the uh, Karakuen Hall in Tokyo. Pa 
Wow, power, ladies and gentlemen. Thailand so far on this card. Seven fight main card. Thailand. Thailand are five and one so far. This is the last fight on the main card. Japan's hoping to at least get one more win here. Just for pride at this point. Just for pride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round one coming up here. Let's freaking go. Main event of the evening, final fight of the night, round one. Let's get it all. Oh, inside low kick swing and a miss by Popo. Swing and miss again. Again. Oh, long legs, long legs, kind of short torso. So just perfect frame for a Muay Thai fighter. Good morning, hockey from home. Swing and a miss from the champion on the leg kicks. Five rounds, ladies and gentlemen, five rounds if needed in this main event title fight here in Japan. Hockey from home two is here as well. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, a nice right hook by Nadaka. Nadaka light on his feet so far, not allowing Propro to land those leg kicks, but Propro trying to cut the distance, trying to back him up into the ropes, but nice quick combos there by Nadaka as well. Oh, outside low kick. Nadaka. Nadaka's hurting Propro here. Nadaka's hurting Propro here. Nadaka's hurting Propro here, and he sweeps him at the end. It's not going to count as a... It's not going to count as dropping him, but he's hurt him. He's hurt him, and he's... Oh, and he sweeps him again. He sweeps him again. And that's going to count. That's going to count. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Nadaka with some huge combos. Nadaka with some huge combos. And he ends up getting the, the first count on the champion. The champion walks forward, left and a right. Nadaka with a double right jab on the step back. Oh, my goodness. The TIE fighter is not messing around now as he runs in with the left body kick. Hockey from home, sorry, but there's so much going on in this fight right now. It's absolutely insane. I I did not, I did not cook, but I'm going to make them this week. Your friend was at the Super Bowl. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe Nadaka got the knockdown early. Now, Propro has to really be a lot more aggressive here in this first round. Nice right back, right hand on the step back by Nadaka, and that is it for the first round. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What a first round. What a first round. Nadaka with a 10 8 in the first round. Crazy. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. No, no, it's all good, Augie, for a moment. It's all good. Just that, That's why I was like, way through my answer, I just had to get to, oh, some nice left elbows, some sweep kicks, man, the talk, I can't believe this. We're going into the second round, and Docker got a 10-8. Yeah, and the Docker with the 10-8, the Docker with the 10 <laughs> That shit beautiful than a motherfucking... Let's go 10-8 in the first round for the challenger. That was huge. That was huge. Uh, all right. Pro, pro. On his feet in his corner right now, Nadaka sitting on the stool. I'll tell my friends to sub to you so you'll get to 8K today. He's just sweet. We're so close, hockey from home. So close. Don't forget to vote in the poll question, by the way, guys.
Oh, we've had plenty, Hawkey. We've had plenty. Like, why, why aren't the commentators saying anything at this point? That's what I don't understand. Anyways, it is what it is. It is what it is. Round two. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Oh, and the... After getting a 10-8, Pro Pro is swinging early. And he's setting a huge pace. Step in left, right. Step in left, right. Monstrous knees in the clinch. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, Hawk from home. Some good Starbucks later. Oh, a nice left by Nadaka. Nadaka with another left. Nadaka with another left. Nadaka with a straight right. Nadaka with the outside leg kick. Nadaka, even on his back foot, he's so light on his feet. And he has those quick hands that he's been landing some good shots and he's been able to counter Pro's game here. Nice right hand by Nadaka. Nadaka with the one two again. He's hard proper. He's hard proper. How is Pro still standing? Nadaka landed some huge combos on him. Nadaka with the counter left. Tim's probably has better food than Starbucks, but Starbucks has better coffee. Oh, a nice left elbow by Nadaka. Will Nadaka gas, though? That's the question. Will Nadaka gas? With the clincher, this ref is, he takes his sweet ass time with the clinch. Oh, a nice left elbow. Nadaka has proper hurt. Nadaka has proper hurt. And it's because of those elbows, man. It's because of those elbows. High kick by Nadaka. Nice elbow by Pro Pro. Nadaka with the right elbow. Dude, Nadaka's looking damn good. 30 seconds left in the second round. Dude, Nadaka looks excellent. Nadaka's like, this is for Japan, motherfuckers. This is for Japan. Oh, nice right hand by Pro Pro. Some big shots by the TIE fighter. Right hand by Nadaka. Outside low kick. Nice left elbow by Pro Pro. End of the second round. What a fight. What a main event. What a main event. If my roommates weren't sleeping, I would be yelling. I'd be like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. What a fight. What a fight. And we are only in the third round. We are only in the freaking third round. Nadaka drops proper early in the first round. He lands some monstrous elbows and some huge shots in the second that hurt him. 10-8 round one, 10-8 round two. For Nadaka. Yeah, 10 9 for Nadaka. Nadaka's up two rounds, and one of those rounds is a 10 8 going into the third. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Fighters still being looked at by their corners. Both of them on the stool. And we might see a new champion. I'm just curious to see Nadaka's gas tank. But he still looks relatively light on the feet. He looks like he's got a lot of gas left in the tank. So I think we're good.
Japan does not want to go six and one against Thailand here tonight. They want to go at least five and two. They trying anyways. They be trying. All right, third round, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the belt, though, so this will go five if needed. Round three. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go main event of the evening. Round number three. And... Nadaka's up two rounds, one round 10 8, one round 10 9. Let's go, baby. Some step back right hands by Nadaka. Proper trying to take away his distance here, trying to take away any of his space, trying to bait him into the corner, but that good footwork by Nadaka, man. He's not being baited into backing into the corner and he traps here and he's landing some big right hands on the step back as well even though Pro -Pro is very aggressive right now with the one twos nadak is looking damn good that right jab right jab as nadak steps forward or steps back dude looking to clinch here's the champion proper knees to the body on the entry this is textbook Japanese kickboxing versus Muay Thai here in Muay Thai rules. And this is a tremendous fight. This is a tremendous fight. Oh, a nice left by Nadaka. And a nice left by Propro. And a right by Nadaka. This is awesome. This is a fight. This is a fight. Oh, swing and a miss with the left by Propro. A nice left elbow by Nadaka. Left to the body by Nadaka. Outside low kick by Pro Pro. Pro Pro swinging to miss with that left hand. Outside low kick by Pro Pro. What a fight. Nadaka swinging to miss to the body. Oh, spinning back fist attempt by Pro Pro. And that landed a little bit. Good head movement by Pro Pro, Pro Pro with a left and a right. This is where we see if Nadaka can continue at this pace. If Nadaka starts to fade here, this is where Pro Pro will really shine. Oh, high kick by Nadaka. Nadaka back up against the rope, something we're not used to him seeing. And there we go, Pro Pro. Nadaka with a high kick and it lands. Nadaka with a one-two. Nadaka has to finish this round strong. It's a closer round. Nadaka with a left hand. That's it for the third round. We enter the first of two championship rounds next year, guys. Who do you guys think won that third round? Who do you think won that third round? The third round was the closest round. First round, Nadaka 10-8. Second round, Nadaka 10-9. Third round? I think Nadaka 10-9, but it's the closest round. It's the closest round thus far. Let me know your let me know your thoughts in the live chat. The dog is elbows man in the pocket. Money. Money. Ten nine the dog. Yep, he gets it. He gets it. It's the right decision. Love the live scoring here. 3026 Nadaka. Going into the fourth round. And again, I think that's I think that's correct. I think that's correct. So Pro, Pro needs a knockout. 
And how many, how many times have we said that tonight for the ties? Not many, not many times. We've been saying that for the Japanese fighters, the last five fights in a row. No, the last, yeah, the last five fights in a row. And finally, we're seeing it for we're seeing it for a tie, and arguably the most important fight of the night, the fight for the title. We could see a Japanese fighter in Tokyo dethrone a tie in our WS, dude. This could be absolutely insane. This fight has been insane, but we have two more rounds of violence. Round four, ladies and gentlemen. Round four. Let's freaking let's freaking go. Fourth round here in this title fight. Nadaka's up every single round. First round was a 10 8 because he got the knockdown. First two rounds to get the finish. Up to two rounds. Oh, nice left by Nadaka, right by Nadaka. This is a big ring, I like it. Shout out to RWS. Nice left by Pro Pro. Body kick, high kick by Pro Pro. Pro Pro, sorry. Oh, spinning back fist attempt and ducking away from it was Nadaka. He slipped there though and fell on his ass. Nice step and left by Nadaka. Nice high kick by Pro Pro. Oh, Nadaka kicks the body of Pro Pro. He grabs the kick and lands a big right hand of his own. Nadaka back up against the ropes, which is again something that he's been doing a good job of avoiding most of the fight. He's, take, he's been taking damage when he can't step back and land that left. Oh, a nice right elbow by, by Nadaka. Swing and miss by Pro Pro. So he cl clinched and the ref separated them. Propo swinging a miss with the left and a right. Outside low kick and a double right jab by Nadaka. Nadaka, great head movement back up against the ropes. Turns back to the center of the ring. Nadaka throws a high kick blocked by Propo. Propo with the left hand. Another close round like the third for Propo. Forty-one seconds on the clock. I think Nadaka, even if he loses this round, the fifth will be huge, and he's still up three. Oh, Nadaka might be fading here. He overswung with that leg kick, and that was just some sloppy technique. And we haven't seen him. We haven't seen him yet throw anything sloppy, and the tie is still dialed, so that that might be a little telling. Oh, high kick by Tanaka. Or, high kick by Nadaka, I should say, not Tanaka, Nadaka. Anyways, that is it for the fourth round. We're going into the fifth and final round. Last fight on the card main event of the evening last round of the main event of the evening man is coming up next year oh some big kicks from Nadaka in that fourth round I truly think Nadaka barely squeaked that fourth round as well I think he, he barely squeaked a decision there or he barely squeaked that that round from the judges Getting that knockdown in the first round was huge, man. Getting that knockdown in the first round was huge. 10-9 for Nadaka. Dude, he's up every single round. 
First round, 10 8. Second round, 10 9. Third round, 10 9. Fourth round, 10 9. He's up 40 35 on the judges' scorecards. Pro Pro needs a knockout. The Thai fighter needs a knockout or he will lose this fight. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? So the Japanese have a chance to go two and five tonight instead of one and six. The Japanese have a chance in the last fight of RWS Japan. They have a chance to go two and five. That's right, two, not one and six. Two and five, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. And not only that, it's in the most important fight of the card in the championship bout. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Fifth and final round, main event of the evening, final fight in RWS Japan. 6.40 a.m. Let's freaking go, ladies and <laughs> that like button, fifth and final round. Let's go. Let's see if Nadaka plays it safe. Pro Pro knows he's he's got to get the finish here. Pro Pro can't fight safe, and Pro Pro doesn't look like he's fighting safe here, especially on his entries. Low kicks by Pro Pro, trying to set up something high. You can tell Pro Pro's just trying to set up that high kick here. The nice shots to the body. I was saying, or I was questioning if Nadaka would have a gas tank, because we know Pro Pro's got the gas tank. Dude, Nadaka still looks fresh right here. Nadaka still looks fresh. He's good, man. He's good. Keep the comments coming, guys. Final. Uh, final round. Fifth and final round here. Mm-mm. Sorry, my iPad just tripped out here, so I'm just refreshing. Here we go. They're in the clinch. One minute, 45 seconds on the clock. One minute, 30 seconds. What is Pro Pro going to do? Nice left elbow by Pro Pro. Nadaka. Kind of muffin shots to the left jab as he moves on the outside. They meet center of the ring. Pro Pro looking for that final kill shot, taking away Nadaka's space, but Nadaka's still in and out, in and out, back and forth. And Nadaka, he's starting, he's starting to get, he's starting to clown a little bit. He's starting to know, he's starting to know, he's starting to understand. He's starting to let it sink in. I'm gonna be the new champion. I'm gonna be the new champion. They clinch 40 seconds on the clock. Step back right by Nadaka. Pro Pro just cannot, cannot get any of those big shots on throughout any of the rounds in any moment of this fight. It's been Nadaka landing the big shots and Pro Pro not being able to catch Nadaka who's bouncing around all over the ring here and employing the jab while doing so. Final seconds of this fifth and final round. Three, two, one, and that is it. What a fight. We're going to see a new champion. We're going to see a new champion. RWS ventures out of Thailand, goes to Japan, and shows that the Thais still dominate Muay Thai right now. First fight on the card, the Japanese win, and the last fight on the card in the main event. I imagine the Japanese will win. Instead of going one and six, they're going two and five, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, we're listening in. We're listening in. 
as soon as a new champion is crowned, I'm going to bed, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to say thank you to every single one of you. Yes, you, you right now looking at me right now. Thank you for hanging out with us here today. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you all for liking the video. I know it's kind of fucked when I'm talking like this, when I'm whispering like this, but I have roommates. I can't be hooting and hollering throughout the night when there's MMA or kickboxing in Japan, but you know I'm a junkie. You know I love combat sports. I'm going to be watching them. So thank you all. You all are amazing. Subscribe to the channel so you can hear real, so you can hear real fight companions where I talk as a normal person and more content on the channel. All right, we're listening in. All right. We're listening in for the judges' scorecards, but we know how this is going to end. Unanimous decision and no. <laughs> In front of Japan, the new super flyweight champion of the world of RWS, Nadaka Yoshinari wins every single round. That's cool. that shit beautiful than a mother. <laughs> Great win, great performance. Unbelievable card, RWS. I love the league. I love the stadium show. And I love that now you're traveling to Japan. You came into Japan. You beat them five to two. Let's freaking go. Hey, I had fun hanging out with you guys. You all are amazing. I'm going to get some sleep because I have a work day ahead. You guys, I will post the fight schedule for this channel this next weekend we're going to be doing one championship ufc and some other great shows as well new podcast dropping this week as well as other content as well membership stream later this week and some big news with our boy rush hour fight club go subscribe to him as well that's it for this one like and subscribe folks and i will see you on the next one peace i'm out of here yeah. Yeah.